Big Ronnie saying if you don't watch this guy's YouTube channel, you're making a big mistake. up everybody ogp hanging out with you on a really late thursday night uh for many of you it's friday morning but the good news is i am back at home i'm back at my house in california where it's not snowing much of the country is under snow or being uh you know suffering from tornadoes and all kinds of things going on uh back here in peaceful southern california and Hopefully, that means my internet is working right for the first time in a couple weeks. But uh, I think I've got the bugs worked out with the new laptop. I think we're good on that end for future mobile live streams. But I want to do something tonight. I want to give something away. And um, the reason for that is I actually want to test out a new randomizer that I came across trying to figure out down the road as we're doing these giveaways, when we get too many names, it's just taking so long to get everybody on the wheel and spin the wheel and then figure out how we're going to do it. So we're going to test something out tonight. And if it works, great. That's what we'll go with with the winner. If it doesn't work, uh, then we'll do uh, we'll go back and do the wheel. But I'm going to be fair and give you all uh, something tonight. Before I do that, though, I do want to mention this. This is not the giveaway. This is another movie that I just need to mention. The Grandmaster of Kung Fu. This is going to be coming out on January 31st from our friends over at Wellgo USA. Uh, looks to be a lot of fun. I've yet to have a chance to watch it. I received it in the mail and like right when I got back from Vegas before I went to Dallas. So I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But uh, the Grandmaster of Kung Fu looks fun coming out on DVD, Blu ray, and digital on January 31st. So just a couple, well, a week and a half from now. Grandmaster Kung Fu from Wellgo USA. I wanted to mention that. Tonight, what I'm going to be giving away is uh, a copy of The Boy. This is a Blu-ray, uh, brand new, factory sealed, and Panic, uh, which we know under the slipcover here, Walmart made them have just say Panic, but it's Satanic Panic, uh, brand new, factory sealed. We're going to give those away. And... Uh, like, I don't have <laughs> mystery bags or anything set up right now to do that, but I do want to give away a couple movies and test out this new uh, randomizer thing. So I thought, you know what, rather than doing that on a Monday night when we're going to have a bigger audience and everything, we'll just do a random, random video late at night and see if we can test this out and maybe, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Uh, but maybe we can get the bugs out as well. So I thought I would do that. Uh, but before we get into it, let's say what's up to everybody. Jaya Cortez, what's up? How you doing tonight? Uh, thank you very much for being here. Antonis, how you doing, bro? Uh, the Wicked Network. And then there was Late Night with OGP. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, so I just, when I got back, I had to put the camera back on, hook up the microphone and everything. So how is uh, volume? Am I coming across okay? Uh, let me know if, if I need to adjust my volume, if you would. Uh, Black Bear, what's up? Nice surprise life. Thank you. Well, yeah, no, uh, thank you for hanging out and jumping in here. Uh, it's Friday morning. Yeah, no, it is. Um, and, and I am still kind of running on uh, Tulsa time there. And so uh, it does feel very late for me. But this was something I wanted to do and try out before Monday. Also, I just uploaded, and it will be out at 10 a.m., so uh, nine, uh, 11 hours and 29 minutes from now, 
the conclusion, the second half of the Vegas video from earlier this month, which is the juicier, steamier part of that trip. So that is a lot of fun. I was in tears laughing as I was editing that video. So that'll be out tomorrow morning for you all to check out or, you know, just a few hours from now. Uh, so uh, please give that a watch when it comes out. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it a lot. I, I start out at Zia Records, the other Zia, and uh, then we go to the Double Down Saloon and get smashed, absolutely smashed, and then go back to Matt's house. And there's, uh, I'll show you a little bit. If you missed the live stream from that night, which I'm not making public again, that's that I've hidden that. But um, if you missed that live stream, I'll give you a little teasers from it. So uh, that that that's a lot of fun, and, and it will be out tomorrow morning. Uh, let's see here, Anthony, what's up? 674 subs, decent. Indrid, what up? Uh, Wicked Network, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Well, thank you very much, appreciate it. Kevin Hampton, what up, Kevin? Killer Care Bears in the house. What's up, Killer Care Bear? I need to get this. Boom, 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 boom. This is now I can see the comments better. Right over here. Here we go. SoCal and Magic Channel. What's up? How you doing? Fire Red Ice Blue is in the house. Very nice. Uh, Fluffy says it's a contest. Uh, well, you got to win uh, to be in the contest. Fluffy never enters. So uh, what are you going to do, Fluff? What are you going to do? Fire Red Ice Blue, you want to be a part of the contest? Well, I'll tell you what. You can be. You can be. We are uh, We're going to open this up to anybody and everybody uh, in the United States of America because this is a physical media, so it's got to be U.S. of A. only. So hopefully you are uh, in the U.S. of A. and then you can be in this contest here. Way up, dude. What up? Uh, rules the house of YouTube. Well, I appreciate that, Mr. Way up, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, just to do us random, ran very random here, just in the middle of the night. Like, what are you doing? Uh, but we're going live and we're giving something away. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what? Um, this is the AFC is stacked, Pop Mafia. Um, the Bills, KC, and I'll tell you what, if Miami, if Tua was playing for Miami, boy, they were good. Uh, but boy, Miami really gave the Bills a run for their money without Tua. Uh, that would have been that would have been an interesting game if Tua was there. But between Cincinnati, the Bills, and Kansas City, ooh, wow, uh, Jacksonville. Sorry, uh, Jacksonville, you're going to get steamrolled this week. But uh, the other three teams, uh, that's that's the, it, up for grabs. Any one of those three. But hey. Pops Mafia, good luck to your bills. Uh, where are you? Let's see here. Oh, uh, Kevin Hampton. All right. Cody, how's it geek? What's up, Cody? How you doing, buddy? It is, man, it's very late where Cody is. I know that. Antonis, yeah, no, Antonis uh, over there uh, in the greater Los Angeles area. Uh, also already have the boy, but don't have the others. Okay, well, hey, uh, tell you what. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll, uh, let me add something to this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let's throw a bonus here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We'll throw this in here too. Cause I have two of these now dinner for schmucks. How about that? We're making it a three for tonight just because fire red ice blue already had one three brand new blue rays. We're giving away tonight to uh, one lucky winner here. Chester volume is fine. Thank you very much for letting me know. Appreciate that. Uh, are you ready for creep by E and uh, days of the dead? I am very much ready. I'm so excited. And a funny story, when I was out on the road, I went uh, to my brother's house in the Dallas area, spent three days there, had a blast, uh, went to the stockyards at Fort Worth, uh, went to the John Wayne Museum, uh, a few other places. Went to Bucky's. Check it out. We went to Bucky's, and, uh, and I got some Bucky's uh, beaver nuggets, and these are phenomenal delicious treats right here phenomenal treats from bucky's uh if you've never been uh i had never been to a bucky's before this trip my brother's like no we gotta go and i uh, got some of those got an extra bag for the road and one to bring home so uh i was in dallas spent a few days there drove up to see my grandmother in nebraska and uh, it was about an eight hour drive and then we spent a couple days there well right before i get to my grandmother's house i'm like eight hours up the road and my brother calls and he's like, you forgot your tripod here. And I'm like, I didn't bring a tripod on the trip, but I did bring a gimbal and I left my gimbal in Dallas. 
So after we left my grandmother's house in Nebraska, we had to drive back to Dallas before we could come home. So <laughs> it made this trip a real adventure, uh, but it was a lot of fun getting to hang out, uh, spend quite a bit of time with my brother, uh, his wife and my niece and my grandmother and my aunt back in Nebraska. So uh, a lot of fun. And we got out of the weather just before it showed up because Nebraska is like really getting snowed on right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad to be back home. So much of the country is really getting hit hard with the weather right now. Uh, thanks for the giveaway. Well, SoCal, imagine, uh, my absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. Uh, let's see. It went to Atlanta last year. Do, 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 do. Try and get down here. Amy Cakey. What's up, Amy? How you doing? It's been a while, Amy. I've been, uh, missing you on the, on the live streams lately. Uh, but my live streams, like the, the internet's been rough. So you might've been there and I might've just missed it. Uh, go Jags. Yeah. Chester, I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. Uh, but I think all of us pretty much know, I, I don't think the Jags have a chance, hey, but Hey, you know what? You never know. Maybe they could uh, surprise somebody and look at this, uh, 20 years ago, the Patriots went into the Super Bowl basically with an unknown quarterback and Tom Brady and win the darn thing. And so you never know with Trevor Lawrence, he is not an unknown quarterback, uh, but being his second year. Yeah. Uh, hey, who knows? He looked amazing in that second half against the chargers. So we shall see, we'll see what happens, but my prediction Jags get steamrolled, uh, bro. It's 12 AM watching power Rangers. You know, I'm out of it after this week's mess. Uh, yeah, Cody, um, I imagine you've been, uh, trying to do quite a bit of damage control, uh, this, this week. Yeah, that's, that's what I have seen. Uh, I was on the road a lot, so I didn't see all of it, Cody, but, um, yeah, that's man. Um, I feel bad, uh, for the, uh, the, everything that you and the triplets are going through with all that right now, Jesse, what up? I did not get a Bucky's t-shirt, uh, but we did get one for my wife. So I was on that road trip with my daughters, just me and my daughter. And uh, so we picked up a, a Bucky's t-shirt for my wife. Uh, have you ever had a bad experience at a horror convention, whether it was a stranger or a celebrity? Um, I, I mean, I've had awkward moments, Antonis. I, I, I don't know about a, a bad uh, experience, um, but awkward in the sense that uh, they're sometimes – folks want to talk to you and and i get that and that's great love talking to people love meeting people uh but then um then you got to get back to it and you, and you got to keep going and uh there's just been been times where you know people haven't understood like hey we got to get back to it uh and and um it, it, there's just been some awkward moments but i wouldn't really say bad experiences uh beaver nuggets are addictive gotta watch it or the next thing you know the bag's empty no 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 hey and, and luckily we opened this bag like on the road. So I'm not going to sit here and say like, I ate the whole thing tonight, but, but there's only a little bit left. There's only a little bit. They are very addictive. Very. Uh, how weird. What's up? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. If you would hit that thumbs up, that would be sweet. Uh, question for Cody, anything coming uh, up for uh 30th anniversary power Rangers. Yeah. You know what? That's uh, I think the triplets have been trying to like address that type of stuff recently. Uh, OGP is the mail. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, was that a little Jim Rome? I heard phenomenal. It was <laughs> phenomenal. It was phenomenal. They're phenomenal treats. Yes. Good night now. Uh, no, uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, if, you know, if, if you had followed Jim Rome's career for a while, he got his start on the radio in San Diego. I'm not sure if that's really, truly where he started, started, but that's where he got his big break. He was on the radio and he had a beef with, um, uh, the ha hacksaw, right? Uh, not hacksaw, Jim Duggan, but Lee hacksaw Hamilton and Jim Rome had like a falling out. They were in the same radio station. And, uh, so that's a lot of Jim Rome's, uh, you know, good night now. And all that stuff was um, him mocking hacksaw. Uh, but he started in, in San Diego before becoming big, uh, you know, in San Diego, Boston, there was a couple cities that really had, uh, they were kind of pioneers in sports talk radio. And uh, Jim Rome was a part of that in San Diego. Uh, Jesse says, what up to Cody? Hope all's well. Yes. Uh, Anthony says, let's go giants. And that's, here's the thing. 
this uh, this weekend of, of football is going to be amazing. You're talking Giants Eagles. What a rivalry! You we are renewing the Cowboys 49ers playoff rivalry. That is, I mean, that's legendary going back to like the 80s with these teams battling each other forever and ever in the playoffs. Very much looking forward to that. Um, and and then I mean Cincinnati and KC Buffalo. Those three powerhouses, and then you got the Jags in there. So, uh, you know, we'll see about the Jags. Uh, but uh, man, some big, big games going on this weekend. Uh, my Saints, maybe sometime. Hey, you know what? Your Saints have a Super Bowl that is more than a lot of teams can say. Uh, a lot of teams, especially the Chargers. Uh, everyone looks amazing in the second half against the Chargers, right? Kevin, exactly, exactly. Uh, did you go to Supervillain Pete's funeral when you were in Texas or was it just a trip? So I went to Supervillain's grave. I was not able to attend the funeral. Um, and to be quite honest, I was having some communication with folks. I I don't want to like throw anybody under the bus, but I was having some communication with folks that I could, used to get it to figure out about the funeral and that type of stuff. And uh, I got an awkward vibe about it. There was something off and I didn't know if there was going to be drama between different people that were going to be at the funeral or whatever. And so I was like, I'm just going to wait and I'm going to go pay my respects and visit the homie uh, afterward. And so I did go to his grave. Uh, I, I like a like a stalker, like a true sinister stalker. I drove by Super Villain's house. Uh, you know, just I just always wanted to, to go see him there. I drove by his house and then went to the um, Whataburger very close to there. I got a a Whataburger cheeseburger, went over to his grave and ate my Whataburger cheeseburger, which you know me, I, I I've never been a real fan of Whataburger, but for my boy. Uh, super villain. We we had the Whataburger, went over to his grave and, uh, you know, drank my drink, had my Whataburger and uh, hung out with my boy for a little bit there uh, at his grave. But uh, unfortunately, no, was not there for the funeral. Although if you uh, somebody, I believe, tagged him, if you find him on Facebook, there's a little video of uh, the uh, the 21 gun salute because my man was a 15 year uh, veteran of the Border Patrol. And uh, so he got a 21 gun salute and they played taps for him there. Uh, it was a beautiful ceremony. What, what uh, I saw of it on the video there. Uh, but uh, I went and went to his grave, but no, not, it wasn't there for the funeral. Uh, what size shirts do you wear for future reference in shirts or jerseys? Uh, Wicked network. I, I'm uh, right. If you didn't see the video, you'll know I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm packing on some extra pounds right now. So I'm a double X right now. I'm a two X. I gotta get I gotta I gotta get uh I gotta cut it down a little bit. <laughs> gotta lose some weight here. Maybe maybe someday get down to a one X, but uh, I'm a two X right now. So uh but yeah, that's but hey, if you ever want to send anything, that would be awesome. I'd love it. Uh I don't know if you send me a cowboys jersey. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a hard time rocking a Cowboys jersey because you know I got my pats right here. I'm just saying, but uh, but if you send it, I'll rock it for you. I will, I will. Uh, I'm celebrating your four year anniversary on YouTube channel. Very cool, Anthony. Congratulations on that. Uh, we could they are they are doing a 30th anniversary special on Netflix April 19th uh, with the old cast returning. Well, that's very cool, Cody. Uh, glad to hear that they're going to be a part of that. Uh, Eternal Harmony was up. Uh, uh, you having a good night. I am having a wonderful night. Hopefully you are as well. Uh, Andrew Cold sports movies, gas prices, etc. I'm in brother. Nice. Very cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bu, bu, bu. when I hear Jim Rome versus Jim. Oh, Chris Everett. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was great. No, when Jim Rome kept calling, uh, Jim Everett, Chris Everett. And Chris is like, throwing the chair and stuff. Yeah, no, that was a blast. That That is hilarious. And and I'm pretty sure that's still, you can find that out there on YouTube. Uh, oh, you're, you're a 3X? Yeah, no, you know what? And all of us, hey, the older you get, your metabolism slows down and uh, you just, you, you start packing on pounds. It happens. But um, yeah, I just, I need to be a little more healthy in what I eat and I, and I need to get a little more exercise and uh, it kind of, Dr uh, drops down uh pretty quickly once i do that but uh 
But uh, you, yeah, you get to see uh, even the thumbnail. Uh, the thumbnail for tomorrow's Vegas video is uh, <laughs> is me like flying into the freezing cold pool in Vegas. So it's a fun one. It is a fun one. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, screw. Oh, okay. All right. Wicked network. <laughs> so what, what, uh, what's your football team that wicked network? Are you, are you a, uh, so it would be the, uh, Texas, um, not, not the Rangers. That's, uh, the Texans, the Tex Houston Texans fan. Is that what your, is that your, is that your team? Are, are you going to pick up Dr. Giggles on Blu-ray? Cool little horror film. Um, you know what? I, you know, I haven't, is it like, is it coming out? I, I've got to look because of being gone for a while. I am behind on knowing what's coming up on physical media eternal. Uh, but uh, I've heard of Dr. Giggles before. The name sounds very familiar to me, uh, but, um, but I, but I don't know, but uh, I'll probably grab it. I'll probably grab a copy. Uh, so what time do you have dinner then? Um, we are, let's see. Did you watch the Scream 6 trailer today? I did. I did. Antonis, I have very uh I have a very specific thought on that. Uh so it in dinner it, uh were you talking to me, Cotton Eye Joe, about dinner? I'm I'm not uh not really following as far as like tonight. I had I know I had dinner about three, four hours ago. Uh but um but so as far as the Scream 6 trailer that came out today. I was watching it and I was like, oh, this is great. This is, I'm actually pretty impressed. And here's the thing. I don't like passing the torch movies. And they started that with Scream 5 and now Scream 6. It looks like it's going to be more of a passing the torch. My prediction, Courtney Cox is going to get killed. They, they are going to kill off Courtney Cox character. And that's one of my predictions. And my other prediction is we're going to enjoy the movie. And then at some point, the older sister uh, I forget the actress's name, but the one that plays the older sister, uh, she she is going to, because you hear her in the movie going, I'm the one you want. Let's do this. You, you hear that in the trailer. And uh, it's like all of a sudden she has become the badass and she's going to take out Ghostface. And at that point, I'm going to go. If you're a victim the entire movie, you can't just flip a switch and become a badass. I hate when movies do that. That's what I'm predicting. That all of a sudden that older sister is going to become a badass and she's going to take out Ghostface and they're going to kill off Courtney Cox character. That's my predictions with it, but we shall see. I uh, don't know uh, how it happened, but all your clothes have been shrinking in the closet. <laughs> yeah, no, my, hey, mine too. Mine too. It's been doing it for a while. Uh, keto, keep keto it up yeah you know what um I, I there's a lot of different diets and stuff out there that people do for me all i really have to do is cut out junk food and exercise and i lose weight fast so that's that's my game plan right now uh you follow tom brady's oh nice okay decent so a little pats action uh probably a little buccaneers and maybe the raiders next year wouldn't that be funny if Tom Brady went to the Raiders after the tuck rule game really started Tom Brady's career. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny to see Tom Brady go full circle? Why is somebody at my door right now? Maybe, uh, maybe it's a cat out there. The cat likes to jump up on the perch and uh, I, I guess, the, yep, it is a cat. And I think the cat knows that it sets off alarm and we out, go out and, and uh, let her in. But um it would be funny to see Tom Brady start in the tuck rule game to get to the, his first Super Bowl and then wind up his career with the Raiders. That would be very funny uh, if, if he does. Uh, uh, is that so is it Jillian or Gillian? Um, but but I, I do. I'm not a Chiefs fan, but you have to respect Patrick Mahomes. Uh, he is he's he's a nice guy when they're interviewing him and everything. Hard to root against a guy like that. Uh, Andy Reid is a legend, um, but in general, not really uh, a Chiefs fan uh, in particular at all. No, uh, your prediction is the movie will suck. <laughs> uh, social justice warrior nuts. Yeah, Jesse, I think you're. I think you're right, uh, Mr. Bones. What up, Mr. Bones in the house? Uh, always behind on the latest movie, TV series. Just finished. 
uh, 24, the TV series. Well, Indrid, you know, it's funny. I have 24 up here and I've never watched one episode. I need to still check out 24. Uh, they better get Brady because getting rid of car without a real plan is pretty stupid. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, but here's the thing. They could also try and trade and um, uh, get what's his name uh, out of uh, Baltimore, uh, Jackson, right? Uh, but, you know, but Lamar Jackson, they could try and get him because uh, he's obviously not happy. He would be an amazing. Could you imagine if the AFC West had Russell Wilson? and Mahomes, and Justin Herbert, and Lamar Jackson. Oh, my goodness. That, that would be an amazing uh, division uh, if all four of those quarterbacks. But even if – or or take out Jackson and throw Brady in there uh, would be nuts. Nocturno, what up, Nocturno? Uh, so, but anyways, I think we should get down to it here. So this new randomizer thing, uh, it says that I'm supposed to have you type in a keyword, and you, you have to type it in exactly the way I tell you to. And so uh, once I tell you to type it in, you, you have to type it in the, the exact way. And so right now, what we're doing is we're giving away these three movies, Dinner for Schmucks, uh, Panic, or also known as Satanic Panic, and uh, and um, The Boy here. So all three of these Blu-rays, factory sealed, uh, we are going to do it. And so what you're going to type in tonight is um, in honor of in honor of uh, my good friends over at Wellgo USA for the Grandmaster of Kung Fu coming out on January 31st. We're going to type in and I'll, I'll, I'm going to I'm going to type it here and I'll tell you and you need to type in the hashtag also. OK, so I just typed it in. So go ahead and start typing that in right now. You're going to type in hashtag well go usa w-e-l-l-g-o-u-s-a that's what you're going to type in if you want to be entered in this contest go ahead and start typing that in right now if you want to be entered in a contest to win these three movies uh that i'll get out in the mail to you tomorrow so anybody who wants to be entered in the contest go ahead and do that and i will get these in the mail and now so we're going to try this new uh this is called commentpicker.com and uh we're going to try this out and it says YouTube random comment picker is the easiest way to pick a random winner from all the comments on your YouTube video. You can use it to choose a winner for your YouTube giveaways, promotion, sweep takes, or contest. And so I just put in the link to this video and then I click that uh, I want to um, do, 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 where we go. Uh, I want to filter comments based on a specific test. Uh, Let's see. No, include replies, filter, show random names. Okay, so filter comments based on a specific task. So the text is going to be hashtag well o u s a, and and this is a dry run. We're testing this out. If this does not work, I'll put you all on the wheel of doom, and we will do a wheel of doom tonight. Uh, if if this doesn't work right, I'm testing it tonight so that we can. If if it works, we can use it in future episodes of the EMAG, the Mondays, every Monday's a giveaway hashtag EMAG show. So uh, I'm trying to, because when we enter, like we had 64 names last week. And so it took a long time to enter them. And then it took a long time to spin that wheel, especially for doing like multiple giveaways uh, that, that took a real long time. So we're trying to see if we could streamline this and get it done a little bit quicker. I know the wheel of doom is a lot of fun, uh, but um Sometimes it, it just, it takes a long time. So uh, we're, we're, we're just trying something different out here tonight. So let's see here. Uh, copy that link. And let me go ahead and paste this link over here. And okay. So, all right. So I'm going to click it now and see what shows up. And capture entered is wrong. Please try again to get the correct answer. Oh, oh I have to enter it. Capture okay, five plus three is eight. Okay, get YouTube comments. Oops, this video has comments disabled. This means we can't get any comments from the video. Please enable comments. Enable comments. Okay, so this might not work for live streams. Hmm. So, because you all are commenting right now, let's see YouTube comment, YouTube tag extractor. Let's see. 
Extract video tags keywords from a YouTube video. No. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we might just have to do the Wheel of Doom, and I'll have to continue looking for a mm, 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 mm. YouTube comment picker, channel ID, calculator, tag extractor. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't work. I'm going to try. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Hashtag Welgo USA. And I, I apologize about this, but this is like the reason I'm doing this tonight. Uh, so to enter, you just type in, you leave a comment right here. Hashtag Welgo USA. You have to type it in just like that. Uh, show random names. Okay. Animations. Uh, okay. Comments is are disabled. Mm, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I think so. I think we're just gonna have to uh do the wheel of doom. So I don't think anybody's gonna mind that. Y'all enjoy the wheel of doom, do you not? So here we go. Let me pull up the wheel of doom and um you know, and here's something fun about the Wheel of Doom and doing these Monday uh, videos. Already, since we've started, since I changed the name, you know, and I've been giving stuff away for a long time, especially like when Wet Movie One and I did that big giveaway video. But just since we changed the name of the video on uh, December 12th, we have already given away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different uh, people have won prizes. And we've given away a $20 Amazon gift card, a $60 Amazon gift card, an $80 Amazon gift card, and a $120 Amazon gift card. Also, we've given away a t-shirt. We gave away already a copy of this movie. This was already given out. Uh, there was a mystery bag with uh, the Halloween movie theme inside. Uh, another mystery bag with movies. Another mystery bag with the skull ring in it. And the uh, Deadly Games, the... Um, Vinegar Syndrome movie, uh, Deadly Games, or was it Vinegar or Severn? One of the two. Uh, but it's the uh, Dial Code Santa Claus. So that it's like a fifty dollar movie. So we've given away all that stuff already since December twelfth. So the Monday show is just being a blast. Uh, let's see. Uh, what if you have a wheel with all your regulars uh, and just add the missing names? Uh, Wicked Ever. The only problem with that is, um, In fairness to everybody, I only want to have the people entered uh, that are watching. Uh, and that's, that's if I put all the regulars, uh, it might be unfair to somebody who's not able to watch all the time. And that's where I'm torn because I want to figure out what the best way to do this is. Uh, so that's, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm really trying to work out the kinks right now. Because a, as you see, we're, the, the video is growing on Monday. We're giving away more and more stuff, and we're having more and more viewers. Eventually, it's going to come to the point where we can't do the Wheel of Doom. But I have other ideas for that as well, such as we might put up everybody's name on the Wheel of Doom and then uh, start eliminating by color. Uh, and, and if you're in red, we're just going to go, boom, red, gone. And then, you know, and then maybe boom, green, gone. So, uh, so something like that. So it might make it a little bit quicker. But uh, we're just trying to figure out so it doesn't take an hour for like one giveaway. So I've been I've been trying to figure out a way to uh, to do it more efficiently as we continue to grow. So that's that's what we're doing. We're just brainstorming there. But we'll do a wheel of doom tonight. Again, if you're jumping in a little bit late, you have to type in hashtag well go USA W E L L G O U S A all one word. Type that in if you want to be entered to win uh, these three Blu-rays tonight. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, that's fair. I've been working a lot of Mondays lately. And if I won without watching, wouldn't feel right. Yeah, Jesse. And, and the thing is, if you're not in the room when, um, if you're not in the room when we, when you win, um, then, then you can't win. Uh, think you need to just change something in the channel settings. So, Pasta Mafia. So, what I've learned is that so when when we're live, the regular comments are disabled, and only you're only allowed to live comment. 
and then after the after the video is done then you could put regular comments in if there's a way i can change that or whatever then then uh, maybe i will uh but it's you know i've, I've got to test it out and uh you know play with it a little bit more you know not like this but you know like this so uh we got we got to figure figure that out and but that's definitely something i'm going to be looking into uh as far as the settings and stuff as well no so so very good thought thank you pops mafia uh let's see here uh hamburger time what's up you bought pearl finally and jordan peel nope nice very cool um oh so and jesse so indra works a lot too yep uh why not just spin it once for a winner instead of eliminating these names one at a time that, and that's something that we can do also chester um you know and, and uh that 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 might it might come down to that um but the really really time consuming element of it is entering everybody's name on the wheel if there was a way that i could just copy everybody's name and paste it on the wheel and there's there's other randomizer services out there i've just got to do a little more research and figure them out so uh no and it, it is it's exciting to do the spinning i think it's so much more exciting to actually spin and eliminate than it is to sit there and type them all in and that's really the problem is uh me going through the comments and typing all the names in and then eliminating so because as we noticed the other night we had 64 names and to get through the first giveaway and then to the second to get the $120 uh, gift card, it did. It took us almost an hour to get there. And I, and I know not everybody can watch for an hour. So that's what I'm trying to do, just whatever I can to streamline it. And, and you know, we'll figure it out in time. But um, I'm not stressed on it. But I just thought, you know, what better way to try and work out some kinks than just going live tonight and doing this. So uh, here we go. So I'm going to pull up the wheel now. And uh, we'll start putting names on, and we will do a Wheel of Doom right now. Wheel of Doom. Ba, 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 ba. It's thinking about it. Ta-da! There it is, the good old Wheel of Doom. So let's see. Uh, this uh, this contest, uh, Jaya, this is only US of A because it is a physical media contest. It's only... Uh, for the United States. And so I apologize for the international folks, uh, but Monday, always, Monday is always open worldwide. Uh, so please forgive me for that. But um, tonight is USA only. So we have first, we have Kevin Hampton. And then we have Nocturno. And then we have Jesse Torres. Oops. And then, and then we have El Shadow. And this is this is funny. This is very funny. Um. So we, there's we have Shadow shadowless man who won the $120 gift card. Then we have shadow man who showed up at the double down saloon and brought me movie tickets. And then we have L shadow. So we have three shadows. <laughs> so I, I got, I just got, I got to remember everybody. I got to get to remembering everybody here. Uh, Pops mafia. And then we have Antonis. Then we have Blackbeard. Oop. Ah. Okay, and then we have the Wicked Network. Yeah, I, I'm going. I'm I'm back now on my regular keyboard instead of the laptop that I've been on uh, all uh, all week. So I'm uh, re uh, acclimating my hands to typing on a regular keyboard now. So uh, forgive me. And plus, I've never been like great, great, great at typing, anyways. Indrid Cold. And uh, let's see, I already own those, so I won't enter. Good luck to everyone. Well, fair enough, Eternal. And that's, you know, when, when it comes to like movies, and if you have them already, uh, you can always keep them and use them or re-gift them or whatever you want to do. Uh, or also, 
like if you win and you wanted uh, to defer like the other day, um, Antonis uh, didn't want his prize. So he had me ship it off to be in Chile. So if you could always, if you win, you could always choose somebody else uh, to send your prize to, but uh, that's fair enough eternal. Uh, but if you change your mind in the next couple minutes, you can uh, still jump in here. And uh, let's see here to do we and then we got is that so is that pronounced Jillian or, or is that like Gillian? Um, I, I, I like to like get it right. Uh, you know, uh, fire red ice blue. Uh, oh, there you go. There you got it right there. Okay, good. Uh, fire. Oops. Red ice blue i think i got that uh, pretty pretty darn close uh let's see here ogp idea for will of doom if you have a wheel with all your oh okay we already we already went over that uh let's see here anybody else that we're missing for this right now uh mr bones also owns those movies right on right on right on okay so uh i'm gonna go ahead and close it out right now um uh, Okay, entry period has been closed. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, we got to pull up some music, right? We got to do little tunes. Volume down on that. And now let's find out. I'm going to do my absolute best not to jinx anybody. I learned my lesson the other night with Barbara and and saying Barbara's name. She's not in the room tonight, so I can say her name. But, um, yeah, I got to stop saying names because every time I say somebody's name, immediately they lose. So here we go. Let's figure out who is going to be the first to fall off the wheel tonight. And that is my main man, Antonis. Sorry, Antonis. Here we go. Moving right along. Fire red eyes blue. Sorry about that, but thanks for hanging out with us again. Always cool to see fire red eyes blue in the house. And Kevin Hampton. Sorry, Kevin. <coughs> Here we go. Next is. Jillian, sorry, Jillian. Uh, Pops Mafia, sorry about that, Pops Mafia. Let's see who is next. Boom, boom, boom. El Shadow, sorry, El Shadow. And everybody, thank you all for being here tonight and hanging out and uh, helping me with this. Because this is like the fact that we were able to try that other website and find out that it was not really going to work for us. The Wicked Network. Sorry about that, Wicked. Uh, but finding out that that other website was not going to work for us was a big help. So we didn't waste our time on Monday night. So I appreciate that. Because we don't, you know, Monday night, there'll be like three times or four times the viewers. So it will take a little bit longer. Amy Cakey, sorry, Amy. I can, yeah, if it was Amy one, I could have delivered these, hand delivered them to Amy at the Creep by Econ. Jesse Torres, sorry, Jesse. Bloom Bloom in the house. What's up, Bloom Bloom? How you doing tonight? Here we go, here we go. And Blackbeard, sorry, Blackbeard. Then there was three, and then there was three. Indrid Cold. Sorry, Indrid. So here we go. It's either going to be one of these two, one of these two right here. Who will be taking home the prize tonight? And that is going to be Chester 22. Sorry, Nocturno. Very close, Nocturno. Very close. Uh, Chester 22. You need to wah, 
Chester22 got to send me a private message yeah, to collect your prize, Chester22. So let me know, uh, Chester, are you going to hit me up in um, like Facebook or Instagram or one of those and collect your prize and I will get them in the mail to you. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I, you can private message me at any one of those or you can send me an email. Links are all down below. So you can do that uh, at your convenience. So let's get rid of that music. I was going to let it just kind of play out, but it was still going. I was like, you know, I was ready to be done with that. But uh, anyways, man, um, what an exciting trip I had to Dallas. Uh, I did not get to many movie stores, but as you, if you saw the video I put up yesterday, I went to Big Lots in Amarillo, Texas, and they had 75 cent clearance movies and tons of them. So uh, check out that video. You can see everything I got. Uh, I, you know, I go to Dollar Tree and Big Lots and then at the end to review all the pickups and uh, so many great titles for 75 cents. And, uh, you know, even if you have them already, uh, if you know somebody that doesn't have them, maybe you pick them up for them or something for that price. Just amazing prices in that clearance sale. Oh, look at that. I got stuff falling down. Uh, Chester, you're here. Send an email. Decent. Okay, Chester. Very cool. Uh, yeah, link is down there. Uh, pick a older video of yours, post a link, have, go there, do a drawing from that. Yeah. Um, so, and Balzer was telling me tonight, Balzer's like, well, you should maybe do a separate video and have everybody enter. And then, so Monday when we start, I already have all the names, but you know, here's the thing. Um, we have, I, I like the idea that you can come to the video and be there and get entered right there. Uh, so, you know, some people don't have the easiest time finding old videos, you know, or different videos and stuff, and then they show up and they want to enter anyways. So I rather, um, I rather like just try and keep it to where everybody can enter Monday if we can figure out a, a more efficient way to do that so we shall see we shall see um but uh have you ever gone to dollar general movie hunting wicked network so there was a video i did i think it was in november where i went to dollar general dollar tree family dollar and big lots went to all four of those and uh i don't remember if i bought anything at dollar general or not uh but uh, but dollar general had some uh really cool because in their halloween section they had some like horror movies over there that was pretty cool so um you know yeah i uh i have uh but not often because i like to i like dollar tree because i like dollar movies where at dollar general they're more usually like five to ten bucks uh and and i don't know that there's the title selection is maybe there's a, a few better titles here and there but um, anyways, uh, I, I have, but just not that often. Uh, let's see. What's up, Juno2000? How you doing? Uh, does Texas have great food? Uh, may have asked this before, but can't remember. I don't remember if you did. I I, I don't, Antonis. Uh, but Texas does have some phenomenal food. Um, so we went to uh, Billy Bob's. It's like the world's largest honky-tonk bar. And uh, hang on just a second here. Sorry about that. Got a little uh, little thing going on a little bit. Uh, but uh, we had some barbecue there. There's a lot of great barbecue places in Texas. If you're into um, in, any type of meats like pulled pork or brisket, anything, uh, you know, barbecue being like smoked or anything like that, tons and tons of great restaurants. Um, so, yeah, th there's, there's a lot of great food. And plus, Texas has a lot of uh, like um, – great steak restaurants as well uh so yeah there's there's a lot of good eating in texas that is for sure uh seeing that ogp was awesome i can uh, only hope mine's uh doing that when i get a chance to look um i am sorry mr bones i am uh i am i'm i'm forgetting where what uh you're referring to with that comment there 
Um, I'm, I, I, I uh, apologize. Forgive me, please. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Am I going to go to the Hollywood show? I don't believe so. I don't even know when it is. I know it's coming up. Is it next weekend or something? Uh, or I think it, maybe it's the same weekend as Creep IE or something, but I don't, I don't like that would be like Friday night. I don't think I'm going to go. Uh, saw the new house party movie last night and it really surprised you. Uh, you enjoyed it and saw that it got negative reviews, but you still enjoyed it. it was entertaining. Well, that's cool, Juno. Uh, yeah, I, I, the first house party movie uh, never did much for me. I just not a, a big fan of that style of comedy. And so I, uh, I, I just, I not, uh, not really been into it. Oh, oh, uh, big lots deals. Yeah, no, if, if you can, uh, man, I would go check your big lots. Fluffy went to one, I think, and, or one or two or something and was saying that, uh, he didn't see any on clearance. So I'm not sure if it was a Texas thing, if it was, uh, you know what the deal was with the clearance, but uh, I have not been to a big lots in California yet to see if I could find any clearance movies over here. Being that I just basically got back into town last night. Uh, there's a fried chicken chain called chicken express in Texas. Maybe other places really good name sounds goofy, but it's legit. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. And that's, here's the thing I've, you know, my brother just moved out to Texas in June and so I've been out there. I helped him move out there. I mean, we didn't really help him move. I just rode with him in his truck to get his vehicle out there. I took another trip out there in September, and then I just took another trip out there uh, this week. So, uh, I, you know, that's really all the time I've ever really, really, really spent in Texas. And so there's still so much more I need to see and experience out there. Uh, but uh, Chicken Express, I'll definitely have to add that to the list, Kevin. Thanks for the tip there. I uh, got Cloverfield on 4K Steelbook this week, and it looks badass. Nice. Yeah, that's – hey, if um, – uh, let's see here. Hang on a second. Where is this? Where – what, 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 what? Oh, so I got Cloverfield. It's not a 4K Steelbook, but I got Cloverfield and 10 Cloverfield Lane for a dollar 25 for both movies a buck 25 total uh clearance at big lots and and then cloverfield paradox for 75 cents so for for two dollars i got all three movies on blu-ray i'm happy with that i'm happy but uh 4k steelbook i bet that does look really cool i like the cloverfield movies i, I have not seen the paradox one but uh the other two i i really like those movies uh let's see uh out of all Southern states you have been to, which state has the best barbecue food? Uh, so here's the thing. The barbecue in like like Nashville bar barbecue, like the, the barbecue you would get in Tennessee is different than the barbecue from Texas. And Kansas City style barbecue is a little bit different as well. So there, there's like different types of barbecue, uh, but... Uh, my favorite, like as far as chains, I love Rudy's Barbecue. It's it's a chain. They're out of Texas, and they have a couple in Oklahoma, and they have some in Arizona now. Um, but that, as far as like a chain, that, that's my favorite barbecue chain. Uh, but I I don't know. It's it's tough to say. Uh, but I would probably say like Texas style barbecue is my favorite. Uh, but. Uh, I think it really depends on where you go, you know, which which particular place you're at. Uh, same weekend as Creep IE. Okay, kind of want to go Friday night for the Warriors cast. Yeah, and that's, I think, uh, Nocturnal, I think what movie one's going to be there. I think he is. I think he's going to try and go. But I just, I don't think I'm going to be there. Uh, it's after 2 a.m. here, so you get some sleep. Thanks for the live. It was a lot of fun. Well, Eternal, thank you for dropping in and hanging out. I understand. I know it's very, very late at night. Yeah, go get some rest. And uh, hopefully we get to see you Monday night for the uh, big giveaway. Uh, Megan was horrible and boring movie. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. You saw last week pretty much repeated the same story as 2019 child play film uh, with the same story, uh, bloodless kill and rated PG 13. Interesting. Interesting. Do you know, uh, everybody else has said it was good. So uh, it's interesting that you didn't care for it. Uh, giveaway. What did you miss? How do you get in? Be in Chile. You missed it. You missed it. We, uh, so 
being chilly. Well, and don't worry, being chilly. Did you get my private message I sent you? I, um, I, uh, no, I am going, dude, uh, MC, why, why does your name say Jose? Are you, are you on a different account or something? <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm going to be at, creep ie like both days i'm gonna be there both days i am not going to the hollywood show the night before i will be at creep ie both days though so no don't worry about that i i am gonna be there 100 so uh but being chilly so uh let's see uh let's see you did uh, thank you so much yeah no and being chilly you need to thank antonis for that uh for uh passing those on uh to you uh, so yeah, Antonis won the prize and deferred it off to being chilly. That is already in the mail heading your way. Uh, Frank Kirch is in the house. What up, Frank? Let's see here. Let me get back over here. Uh, have I seen the new evil dead trailer? Uh, I, um, the, the evil dead rise. Um, I saw a trailer, uh, a while back. I, I can't remember. I don't know if there's a newer one since I've seen the last one. But I, I'm really excited to see the new Evil Dead Rise movie. Uh, I didn't hate the Evil Dead reboot as much as uh, like some people did, but uh, I will be uh, uh, looking forward very much to seeing the new Evil Dead Rise movie. Uh, Texas has the best barbecue. In your opinion, we pretty much have nothing on the West Coast as far as barbecue. Yeah, Kevin. So uh, there's you know there's a place in San Diego that has a couple locations. That is called Phil's Barbecue, and it's pretty popular. <clears throat> uh, but honestly, in my opinion, it 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 it's not as good as like Texas barbecue. So uh that and I mean there's a couple other places, but but yeah, I don't I just don't think they're on the level because they don't have the passion out here for it. In Texas, that meat's gonna be smoking like overnight. We're out here. It's like, ah, oh, we'll smoke it for a couple hours and slap it on your plate. So it's just, it's not the same in, in California as it is in Texas. Sorry. I got this little tickle in my throat and uh, uh, like trying to deal with it, but I uh, apologize about that. Uh, definitely excited. The dentist wanted to getting a Blu-ray from Vestron. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, and and uh, I think I got the dentist right. Um, oh, I can't see. It would be up there. It's hidden. It's hidden up there. I can't see it. Um, but I think I have the I have the dentist, but uh, just like a DVD. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need to get those two. Uh, let's see here uh love megan watch it last night uh to each their own right no and that's here's the thing is that some people like movies some people don't and um you know what um i've heard most people have have really enjoyed megan um but you know yeah to each their own yes um let's see uh you like megan as well right on right on uh, i haven't i haven't seen it either antonis i'm with you uh, i've just been uh, you know, traveling and everything. I just haven't had a chance to get to the movies. I, I've been so, so, so busy uh, coming and going and coming and going. Uh, let's see here. Yes, Antonis does rock. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, way up, dude. What's the difference between hungry and horny? Where you stick the cucumber? <laughs> oh, man, that's a good one. I like it. I like it, way up, dude. That is a very, that's a quality joke. It's a solid a very good addition to the uh, video tonight. Thank you for that. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Way Up, dude. Uh, they did release new Evil Dead trailer uh, with the regular and red brand. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'll have to go take a look, Juno. I, I have not. But uh, I'll tell you that um, the new Scream trailer, I was watching that. The first Scream trailer, I was like, ah, it's... it's, uh, it's you know, Ghostface takes Manhattan. It's just like, oh, we just need to figure out a way to get Ghostface to New York. Like we needed a way to get uh, Jason Voorhees to New York. But this one, it gave us so much more to the story. And I was really digging it. Up until the point we hear the older sister go, 
I'm the one you want. Let's finish this. And I'm like, no, don't. You're like, you're going to destroy that movie when that girl decides that she's going to become a badass and take out Ghostface. Uh, but I, I do like the way Ghostface in that trailer, uh, you know, takes a shotgun and it doesn't stick to just the knife. Ghostface gets a shotgun and starts blasting people. I liked it. I thought that was cool. I think it's going to be a fun movie. And, and I, and it's, I think it's going to piss me off when we get to the point where the older sister becomes a badass, because I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. And it's going to piss me off when they kill Courtney Cox, because I, I, I would bet, I would seriously bet money that they are going to kill Courtney Cox in this one based on the way the trailer looked and everything. I think they're going to kill her off and that's going to be a bit frustrating. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone compares it to Chucky, uh, which I don't get because she isn't a doll. She's a robot and, uh, reminds you of something from Terminator. Okay. And, um, uh, and that's, yeah, I, I need to see it. Mr. Bones. I really need to see, I've heard good things about it and I was very excited to check it out. Just haven't got a chance to get there yet. Sean, what's up, Sean? Uh, hate YouTube. I have your notification bell on. Saw nothing about the stream. Uh, what were the prizes and who won? So um, the winner was Chester 22, and it was uh, Dinner for Schmucks, uh, Panic or Satanic Panic, also known as, and uh, The Boy, brand new Blu-rays, uh, those three movies. And the reason we did the giveaway tonight was I wanted to test out a new randomizer to possibly move away from the Wheel of Doom when we get too big because we're going to have a problem uh, as you know, we, we had 64 entries, uh, last Monday night. Imagine what happens when we get to a hundred or 200 entries. I'm going to spend an hour just putting people's names on the wheel. So I was just experimenting with something different tonight. It didn't work out. So we went to the wheel of doom and, uh, Chester took home the goods. Uh, I sent a message on Instagram with your mailing address. Decent. Okay. Very cool. Chester, uh, once the video is over tonight, I will package these up. And I will have them out in the mailbox uh, tomorrow headed your way. Uh, did anyone get to buy the pre-order for Sidekicks? It sold out uh, fast that same day. Wow. Wow. Uh, I did not. And uh, I, I couldn't tell you about it. I have been, uh, aside from like, like Dollar Tree and stuff, I haven't been buying much in the way of physical media lately. Uh, so I, I just, I, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, Robert, what's going on, Robert? Didn't know you were live. I didn't get no notification. I know that's so frustrating. Being chilly was just saying the same thing. And I just, YouTube is so frustrating. It is so frustrating. They tell me, oh, everything's set up right. Everything's set up right. But then nobody gets a notification. So I, I don't know. So I apologize. We waited. We went probably uh, 15 or 20 minutes in before we started the giveaway. Um, but, uh, it wasn't, and, and here's the thing. I mean, these are, uh, I have not seen the boy yet, uh, but these two are phenomenal movies. They're they're. I mean, dinner with the schmucks is legendary. It's classic. Absolutely great. Uh, satanic panic is a fun watch, not the greatest movie ever, but it's a fun watch. And I have yet to see the boy. So I couldn't tell you about that. Uh, but it, it, I gave away those three movies. So it's not like you missed out on a $120 Amazon gift card or anything, uh, but, um, yeah, I apologize. I don't know what's up with it. Uh, it, it, I wish, I wish the notifications would go out. Right. Uh, Nick B have you, did you ever get to see violent night? I did. And I enjoyed it. I thought, uh, violent night was a lot of fun. And, um, let me see. Did I, I'm wondering if I did a, I'm going to take a look and see something real quick. I'm going to see if I typed it in on letterbox. I've seen some movies. I need to get caught up on Letterboxd uh, with some of the movies I've seen. Um, let's see here. Menu. No, 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 Yeah, it looks like I did not enter it on Letterboxd yet. Um but uh, I thought Violent Night was good. Uh, I, I, it was, I mean, again, it, you know, it's, it's a Christmas horror movie. It has an element of, of goofiness to it and stuff, but it was fun. Uh, I, I just, I, I thought it was great. It, it, that's definitely one 
that will that maybe I shouldn't say definitely, but it is one that I will very seriously consider watching every single year. A very, very good uh Christmas horror movie. Yes. Uh late night with the OGP. That's right, Shaw. What's up? Uh, is Wet Movie One? Uh, I don't think so. I believe Wet Movie One's probably in bed because he has to get up tomorrow. Uh, you've been waiting years for sidekicks to get a blue, but no, you didn't order it. It was crazy. Wow. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no problem being chilly. Decide to give it to you because you are always one of the first people to fall off the <laughs> That's hysterical. I love it. Antonis. Antonis is the man. I, I, man, I, I, I love you guys. That is That is hysterical. Well, Flat, new member. Well, hey, thank you very much, Flat, for coming and helping support the channel. Uh, there's, I've been posting stuff uh, like all the time, every couple days or so, if not more often than that. You're getting little updates from me on what is going on in the channel, um, you know, what's going on in my personal life, where I'm at. Uh, there's like a video from Nebraska where you got to see. Um, like the the house my grandfather built way back in the day uh and uh, kind of a little bit about the town my grandmother lives in a town with 123 people so it's a very very small podunk town and uh i did a little video there i was out walking her dog and uh i mean it's all dirt roads and everything uh members got to see that uh and i try to uh, do as much as i can for the members there's uh Plenty of plenty of videos up there that the public uh, does not get to see. So, uh, flat. Thank you very much for the support, and I hope you enjoy your membership. And and please, as always, if you have uh, thoughts or suggestions for me, things you'd like to see as a member, please let me know, uh, and I will try uh, my very best to uh, get that out to you. And especially as a member, you want a movie reviewed? Let me know. And uh, I will put that as a priority number one to get a movie watched and reviewed for you. Uh, Chucky was a reboot. In the reboot, it's a very similar storyline. Okay. Oh, Chucky was a robot in the reboot. I was a reboot in a reboot. Uh, it's a very similar storyline. Okay. But here's the thing. When it comes to horror movies, they've all been done before. It's very hard to be completely original. So, you know, I, I, I understand when... Uh, plot lines are a lot alike. So, and especially when you've got a doll or a robot, things like that, uh, you're going to have similarities. So it's um, it, it's tough to be completely original. Uh, let's see here. Uh, many people like Megan that has uh, negative reviews and I like House Party and that has negative reviews. Yeah, um, I, and I haven't looked at the reviews uh, for anything um, yet, uh, you know, for, for those, but house party, I'm not really interested in seeing, but Megan, I definitely want to see. And, uh, MC says, uh, sidekicks is not sold out. So let's see here. Uh, and I'm guessing is sidekicks is, was that a VS title? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I had the boy. I need to see part two. Ooh, I didn't realize there was a part two to it. Uh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. If you would hit that thumbs up button, I would appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. And, and if anybody would know about uh, boutique titles uh, being sold out or not, uh, it would be Mr. Jose Prendes. <coughs> Let's see here. So, uh, yeah, Sidekick says it has over a thousand copies in stock still. And um, is there... Is there a, a separate, is there two versions available or is it just the one? Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like Sidekicks still has over a thousand copies. So, uh, so if you want to get Sidekicks, you can go get it. Yeah. $44.99 right now. Uh, didn't think, didn't think it had sold out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's frustrating, but not your fault. Um, um uh, yeah no as far as the notifications i know i know i'm so i wish there was something i could do about it uh the the first i hear so often that people didn't get the notifications and it, it drives me bonkers uh you're entering every online contest i can trying to find to win a copy of violent night it looks so good uh yeah uh violent night it's a good one definitely one to put in the collection i don't own it yet uh one of these days it will be on the shelf over here though 
Uh, Rocky One to Four is coming up 4K, and the fourth film going to include Stallone director's cut. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't know if I need uh, Rocky and 4K, uh, um, you know, but uh, if you're a big fan of it, then that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Psychex is on Tubi, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we could. So, and, and that's, yeah, for the non physical media collecting uh, general public, uh, yeah, if you can watch it on Tubi. And that's so, so many movies I, I'll watch on Tubi and then kind of decide if I need to purchase it or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, Tubi, Tubi is great for that. I love the wheel, but the wheel don't love me, right? No. But, you know, the thing is, there can only be one. Remember, there can only be one. And so it's, you know, I mean, it's like winning the lottery. Although I think you have a lot better odds of winning this than the lottery. But, uh, you know, there can only be one. And so you got to, you know, you, you got you got one win and then Antonis kicked you down. But, uh, yeah, anytime, anytime anybody's like, man, that darn wheel, I, I just have to refer him to this right here. There can be only one winning. There can be only one. There can be only one. There can be only one. You were in it to win it. There can be only one. Yeah, there can be only one. It's it's just that's the way it is. Uh, what movie do you wish gets Blu-ray or 4K? My pick is D. Snyder's Strange Land, a very underrated horror film. So I don't know as far as uh, getting a 4K. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm like not sitting here going like, man, I wish this would, I wish that would. Um, I don't know. You, oh, you, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, you know what I want on, on 4k or I don't even know if I need 4k. I just need all four of them released. Like in maybe in a box set, even if it was DVD, but preferably Blu-ray. And that is pumpkin head. I would like to see all four pumpkin head movies released like in a box set on blu-ray you know like that would be amazing to me i would buy that in a heartbeat uh are you excited that john kramer tobin bell is coming back for saw 10 oh 100 percent. saw is one of my favorite franchises if it wasn't evident before saw i absolutely love saw and um i i cannot wait for saw 10 i'm so excited for that mb socks what up how you doing tonight or this morning it's very late it's very late at night uh, Gleaming the Cube is another one I've been waiting to get on blue right on. Uh, Evil Dead Rise, I'm very much looking forward to Evil Dead Rise. Uh, personally, I like Child's Play 2019 more than Megan, and still to this day, I feel that movie's underrated. Okay, uh, I agree, Juno. I enjoy both movies right on. Uh, finally saw the Renfield trailer, been mentioned here before, I think. Yes, it has. Uh, but it does look like it could be really good. It does. I am very much looking forward to checking that out. Uh, and I mean, and we're not that far away. When is, so what, well, let's see what we got coming up soon. So, um, today, so we've got fear and missing came out this week. Uh, next week we just got, we got you people with Eddie Murphy and Jonah Hill. Very much looking forward to that. And then uh, February 3rd, Knock at the Cabin, the M. Night Shyamalan movie. That looks great. I'm really excited about that. And then and then we have um, on February 15th, the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is coming out. Very much looking forward to that. And then on February 24th, Cocaine Bear, uh, Ray Liotta's last movie, and which looks like a phenomenal movie, uh, Cocaine Bear coming out. And then March 10th, Scream 6. So, I mean, like, we got horror movies, horror galore coming out here. Uh, and then that Renfield comes out, yeah, April 14th. And then Evil Dead Rise, April 21st. So, man, the first half of this year, loaded with horror movies. Uh, but then in July, Insidious, I'm looking, that new Insidious movie looks pretty good. Um, and, uh, the last voyage of Detmer comes out in August, that one, it, it, uh, but it looks pretty good. Uh, and then the haunted mansion, or I, I should say sounds pretty good. Cause some of these we've really seen 
trailers for yet, but uh, based on what's been written about them and talked about them, they, they sound pretty good. And then the Haunted Mansion, the new Haunted Mansion movie, going to have Jamie Lee Curtis and, and a huge ensemble. Like it, that, I'm very much looking forward to the new uh, Haunted Mansion movie. Then Equalizer 3, The Nun 2. I kind of like The Nun movie. I, I didn't really hate it. Uh, so Equalizer and The Nun. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, the Exorcist. And then Saw 10, October 27th. Man, there's some good horror coming out this year. I, I'm so excited for so many different movies this year. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jay Briscoe's Ring of Horror. Wrestling sadly passed away on Tuesday in a car accident, which is very tragic, and his kids were injured. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. Man, this year, I was hoping that 2022 would leave all the random deaths uh, you know, in the past, but man, no, people are still dying left and right. It is very sad. Uh, Jose going to get some sleep working on the script for a new movie. We shoot in March, taking a YouTube break. Good night. Y'all. Hey, Jose, I hope, uh, best of luck for everything in that movie. And, uh, I am very excited to, uh, see what you come up with again, man. Jose, the, 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 the headless horseman was a fun movie and, uh, man, uh, best of luck. And, and hopefully, Hopefully this is really just the beginning of that steamrolling career uh, where you're getting gig after gig because uh, you could leave. I mean, you know, hang out on YouTube from time to time and stuff when you want. But, you know, I, I'd love to see Jose. I'd love to be able to see you, you know, focus and do like, you know, if you could do like five, six, seven movies a year, that'd be amazing. So, yep, uh, we will see you very soon, dude. Um, Creep IE, right? That'll probably be the next time. Uh, kill a care bear. Thank you for all you do. Well, thank you. Kill a care bear. And, uh, you know what? This is, uh, here's something interesting and they haven't announced that he's died. Uh, but there is a famous actor lost in the mountains outside of LA right now. Uh, Julian Sands, Julian Sands. Do you know who Julian Sands is? Let me, um, let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Why is it? Let me get this. Pull this up here. Uh, 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 come on. We get a, a picture that where you all will recognize Julian Sands. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, Julian Sands, yeah, the villain in the Warlock films. Correct. He is lost in the mountains right now since Friday. And uh, people are very concerned because, I mean, that is like he's been missing for like almost a week now. That is not good. Uh, so here here it is. There's uh, the pictures. Of, let me get rid of that thing. Uh, but there he is. And uh, it says, um, I just saw this on the news tonight. Uh, missing an extremely dangerous California mountain range after a winter storm. Friends pray for news as police use drones to hunt. Uh, Brit star who vanished six days ago, hiking in icebound area north of LA. And um, it, th that can't be good. That can't be good because uh, the fact that, um, Oh, they're flashing all kinds of new story here, but with all the rain and snow and everything that's been in the Southern California mountains lately, um, it, it, you can't be lost up there for a week and not freeze to death. So um, it's just, it's, I think we're going to be in for more bad breaking news here really soon when they do find him. I'm worried that uh, maybe he was hiking, got hit by an avalanche. He's buried in snow or maybe uh, he got hurt and then snow covered his body or something. I'm worried they won't find him until the snow melts and uh, we're in January. So that, that could be a while, uh, but uh, very, very sad news uh, for Julian Sands uh, being missing in the mountains right now. And hopefully they could find him. And they said because of the snow and the weather conditions, they have not been able to do a ground search for him. It's been all drones or like helicopters, uh, but they, you know, the helicopters even struggle like in the weather and stuff to search. So it's just, uh, man, um, I hope we find out that 
you know, he was picked up by somebody or he went somewhere else, but uh, they showed video of his car being towed away from where it was parked. And I think that's really how they realized he was the one that was missing by finding the car there uh, for a week. So very sad news. Uh, Renfield, John Wick 4, Expendables 4. I'm excited this year. A lot to be excited about this year. A lot to be excited. I uh, heard it's supposed to be a remake and not a sequel. Uh, let's see. Um, what are we? What, oh, sorry. And I, I might have missed a comment or two here. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace to Jay Briscoe. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I think I might have missed. I might have missed. Uh, we need, uh, speaking of, I need Vestron Warlock set. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, man, uh, isn't it record snowpack? So it's record snowpack up in the Sierra Nevada, but the, uh, the mountain range that he's in is like the San Gabriel mountains. I think I, I want to say, cause I believe he's uh, missing up on Mount Baldy and that is a Southern California mountain range where Sierra Nevada is a little bit further North. I don't know that it's record snow here looking at the mountains. Cause actually like from my house, I can see Mount Baldy cause it's that big. Um, it has snow on it, but it doesn't look like record or anything. I mean, I've seen more snow on that mountain than it's up there right now. But up in the Sierra Nevada, uh, that is insane what's going on up there. And that's what has led to uh, Jeremy Renner. Uh, have you seen the pictures of him? Gosh, and they're saying his injuries could be a lot worse than uh, have been let out, where he might possibly be losing a leg from that injury uh, that Jeremy Renner sustained, however he did it, running himself over with his own snow plow. And up there, it is record snow. And uh, he was trying to plow the road. I think he had a visitor guest at his house and uh, he wanted to uh, like plow the road so they could get out, if, if I understand that correctly and had an accident somehow or another ran himself over with his own plow and uh the pictures of him in the hospital it, he is beat up pretty good so uh i i really hope i love jeremy renner as an actor everything he's done has been amazing i loved in, in the uh, born movie that he did was great um uh, mayor of kingstown was great uh you know he was a great addition to like the avengers movies and stuff so i really hope um yeah, no, Ken Block got killed by a snowmobile, right? But, but Ken Block was, I mean, so it was a snowmobile versus a snow plow. But, uh, and Ken Block was like, I think he was either racing or, or doing something where Jeremy Renner was just trying to like, you know, plow the driveway kind of thing. But yeah, it's just been crazy. All the uh, bad things that have been going on. Uh, you see Mount Baldy sometimes, Cotton Eye Joe? Is that... Is that we make it are you being a funny guy or is that true? Uh, but Mount Baldy, I mean, it's like so from my house, I can see three mountains. There's Mount San Jacinto that's right here. That mount is about 10,600 feet tall. I can also see uh Mount San Gorgonio, which is eleven thousand five hundred feet, and then I can also see Mount Baldy, which is I think around ten thousand feet. So, like three mountains that are over like ten thousand feet tall like right around the area here. And, and unfortunately uh, he's up on one of those mountains and missing that that's not good. Um, yeah. Dahmer. Yeah. No. Well, and that's the thing. So, uh, well, I, I'm thinking of Dahmer as in cannibal. So, uh, and it's funny because the name is similar up there in the Sierra Nevada near where Jeremy Renner was snow plowing is it's called the Donner Pass and it's Donner Pass because of the Donner Party and if you haven't seen the Donner Party movie you got to check it out or if you don't know the story check out the story behind the Donner Party it's a uh, um, pioneers so they were coming to California back like in the 1800s and they got stuck up in the mountains and they got snowed in they were stuck up there for the winter they were starving they had to result to cannibalism to survive up there on Donner Pass and where Je uh, Jeremy Renner's house is up there is right there. So that, that tells you people got stuck up there and had to resort to cannibalism. That tells you what kind of snow they get up there. 
Uh, you ever watch the missing uh, 411 documentaries? The newest one about UFOs, pretty interesting. Uh, I love USO, UFO documentaries, uh, and and uh, but I don't know that uh, I've seen the missing 411 documentaries. I, I don't know that I've seen that, but um, but I, anything with UFOs and stuff, I'm all about it. So I'll have to check it out, Nick. Thanks, thanks for uh, mentioning it. Uh, yeah, I think Renner was trying to help a neighbor out of a snow, right? Something like that. It was something like that and uh, had the, the horrible accident. So tragic. It's just like, man, we are starting off the year with so many celebrities dying and passing, you know, or getting hurt and stuff. It's like not good. And and now we get the news today that uh, uh, Baldwin is being charged with involved or like, I don't know if it's involuntary or whatever, but manslaughter uh, for uh, shooting the cinematographer on the set of that movie. And I, I learned something today that I did not know was that Baldwin was also a producer of that movie. So if you're a producer of the movie and you, you know, and you pull the trigger of a gun that's supposed to be like, you know, not having real ammunition in it, you need to check. It's inexcusable that the Baldwin didn't check that gun to make sure that it wasn't um, loaded. So it's just, man, the celebrity news has been crazy and devastating. And, and uh, man, we're, we're only halfway through January. I uh, love snow, but not when someone gets buried and it dies, right? No, Antonis, that does suck. Oh, look, check it out. Tiki Ghoul's in the house. What's up, Tiki? How you doing tonight? And uh, for those of you dropping in a little bit later, we did do the giveaway already tonight. It was, uh, we gave away three Blu-rays and uh, it was, we were testing out. I was trying to do something new with the giveaway instead of doing like the Wheel of Doom. Didn't work out so well, so we still did the Wheel of Doom. But uh, anyways, hope you're having a wonderful evening, Tiki. And uh, we're just like two weeks away from Creep IE. Going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait to see you there and Amy and Nocturno. Like all the homies are going to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Sean, Alive 1993. Um, a lot, is, that the, is that the movie where the plane crashed on the side of the hill? Like down in the Andes Mountains, and and they they had to like cannibalize to, to survive. Uh, Jay Briscoe's did a kick-ass performance in the bloody dog collar match against FDR. Um, wow, yeah. Um, 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 uh, let's see here. Recipes Jack Torrance. He died in the snow. I know. I know. What are you gonna do, Jack Torrance? Man, and it shouldn't shouldn't like at the end of Doctor Sleep shouldn't like. Danny Torrance or somebody have died in the snow. Wouldn't that have been amazing? But that's all right. That's all right. But yeah, rest in peace, Jack Torrance. Definitely. Uh, still got to go check out Wednesday. Oh, man, Wednesday was great. Speaking of Jack Torrance, I just watched today uh, Grim Life Collective got to spend time with Shelly Duvall and did an interview with her. And uh, it was very cool to see her kind of, you know, talking because we know she's a bit of a recluse she doesn't like being out in public uh and she de definitely doesn't like talking about the shining and once grim life brought up once they brought up the shining movie you could see her react negatively about it because a lot of i think her issues that she's dealing with stem from uh traumatic experience on the set of the shining uh, but so that was very interesting. But I love the fact that Grim Life got to talk to her and, uh, you know, have about a, a half hour interview with her uh, where a lot of it is them telling their experiences to her, or their, you know, their favorite movies or things about her. Uh, but just here, getting to hear her talk a little bit about some of her experiences acting with Robin Williams, stuff like that. That was great. So uh, kudos to the Grim Life Collective for uh, pulling off that interview. Uh, that, that was a fun one. Uh, have you ever met a Jeffrey Donner kind of human? Would you beat them up? Oh, if I ever did. Uh, I, you know, here's the thing, um, Antonis. I don't know that I need to go be the law. We have police and everything to do that. Um, but uh, if I met someone, if I knew somebody was, you know, killing somebody else, I, I would go, uh, I would go, you know, report them to the police for sure. Uh, you know, right away if they were killing people, you definitely. I mean, uh, the Ravenous movie. Oh, Ryder took some stuff from the Donnie party. Oh, 
Gotcha. Okay, I was wondering about that comment right there. So took some stuff from the Donner Party store. Okay. And Raven is, I, gosh, I'm going to. It sounds, and I, I don't own it. Uh, oh, wait. No. Uh, it, it sounds so familiar, but I just, I don't know if I've, I've seen it or not, Kevin. Uh, the Shining is a disturbing masterpiece. Now, The Shining is uh, one of my probably two favorite movies of all time. And, and it's like a tie between The Shining and Silence of the Lambs. I, I just, I could watch those back to back to back to back just over and over. Absolutely love those two movies. Uh, the Shining is just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely love everything about it. Um, uh, movie Ravenous is crazy and underrated movie of the late 90s. Nice. Yeah, well, I'll have to check that out. I'll definitely have to check that out. But, uh, man, it, we've already been going an hour and a half here. It's crazy. I just go on. I'm like, ah, oh, we're going to do a little giveaway here. And you know how we do it. We start talking movies and stuff. And whoop, an hour has gone by. Hobbs Horror. What's up, Hobbs Horror? How you doing? Yeah, thanks for dropping in. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, if you haven't seen the video, yesterday I released a video of, well, I mean, two days ago now because it's like Friday technically. But uh, Cloverfield uh, Lane, Cloverfield Paradox, Cloverfield Regular, whatever. I got these at Big Lots, and they were on clearance. Look at that, dollar twenty-five for two movies, seventy-five cents for the one movie. So, and I got a ton of movies on clearance at Big Lots, and and uh, then I also went to Dollar Tree and bought a handful of movies. So that video came out yesterday. If you haven't seen that, uh, definitely check it out and get over to a Big Lots as soon as you can to see if your Big Lots has clearance movies for seventy-five cents. Brand new Blu-ray, seventy-five cents, just nuts. Uh, let's see here. Have you seen Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange? Yes. And um, it's been a long time. And I'm I'm trying to think, but I think that's one that, like, uh, I even saw in high school in, uh, it was like video production class, but we were, we were studying film. And I believe that was one we watched in that class right there. But uh, I love Kubrick. I love Kubrick movies. And uh, that is, uh, it, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's it's out there. Uh, and, you know, I like The Shining way more than A Clockwork Orange. Uh, but uh, it's a good movie, Antonis. It's good. If you've never seen it, it you definitely got to check it out. Who's your front runner to win the Super Bowl this year? <clears throat> Frank, that, that's a tough question right now. That's a tough question. Um, so in if I if I was gonna pick right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick, and I, I think I said this a couple weeks ago too. San Francisco and Cincinnati. That would be an exciting Super Bowl. But um, I mean Cincinnati. Buffalo or KC, any one of those three, it's a toying cost. Uh, toying cost. I said toying cost. Can you believe that? It's <laughs> what is it? Toying cost. <laughs> Hashtag toying cost. It's a coin toss. It's a coin toss. Could be any one of those three teams, but out of them, I'm going to pick Cincinnati. And then in the NFC, man, that Cowboys Niners game, that is going to be. Like that is going to be some great television this weekend. Uh, because you know, the the you know, and even though it, you know, like the, the players on the teams right now were not part of like the like Deion Sanders uh era of you know the 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 playoff games between the Niners and the Cowboys, but uh man, there has been some great games between the Cowboys. And uh, the night, yeah, Ted's or Hales, yeah, right? <laughs> Hashtag toin cause toin 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 Ted's, Ted's or Hales. <laughs> oh man, but uh, I, I, yeah, I think I mean, the Niners are phenomenal, and uh, Brock, man, Brock is a pretty good quarterback. I think Brock is a pretty good quarterback, and that defense is amazing. So, look, the Cowboys, 
And the Niners, I'm giving the edge to the Niners, especially because it's in San Francisco. And then you've got the Eagles and the Giants. That one, because, uh, what's his name, the Eagles quarterback has been battling injuries and stuff, that's kind of closer to a toss-up. If the Eagles quarterback had been healthy, I would say the Eagles win that easily. But uh, I'm thinking it's going to be the Niners and the Bengals. And uh, I, I it wouldn't break my heart to see the Bengals win their first Super Bowl. It wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Toying cost. Yep. A good old, <laughs> good old fashioned toying cost. Toying cost. <laughs> Sean says the 49ers. All right. I think Kubrick was responsible for Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise divorce. It, it may be very possible. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, Kubrick, he was going to get the take that he wanted. And I heard there was like one shot on uh, that movie, um, Eyes Wide Shut. I heard there was like one shot that they spent like three weeks trying to like get one shot, one take. And uh, he is very particular about it. And and I do believe uh, that that Kubrick very much made some people crazy. Um, and so Blackbeard says, I met Grim Life and in person they were entitled pricks, especially the girl Jessica. It was really disappointing because it's as if they faked it to make it. So uh Blackbeard, in here's the thing: I don't want to ever be a guy who people view as somebody uh sitting here bad mouthing other people, especially YouTubers. But I will say. You are not the first person, Blackbeard, that I have heard say that. And um, I do find it peculiar that, uh, like, you watch their live streams and they really only respond to the people that send Super Chats. And and I know they get a lot of viewers, so it's, you know, they can't respond to everybody, but um, they respond to the Super Chats and then at all these conventions, they're selling autographs and stuff. And if you ever meet me, and I know I don't have 395,000 subscribers. I have 5,000. Well, almost 6,000. But if I ever get there, I'm not going to charge you for an autograph. You come up and say hi to me. We'll take a picture together. We'll talk. And I will not charge you for an autograph. Uh, I understand they're making a living doing what they do. And I just, I don't, I don't know if I understand that and would do that, but I don't hate on them for it. Cause they're trying to make a living doing what they're doing. And there are other people that do it as well. So, uh, I, I, um, I understand what they're doing, but, and I've also, I've heard other people have that same kind of thought there that Blackbeard has the monkeys in the house. What up monkey you plan anything special for Valentine's day? Um, that's a, a good question. I mean, um, hopefully I, I come up with something nice, uh, to, uh, do for my wife that day for sure. Yeah. Not, I haven't, I don't have plans yet. Uh, never knew Shelly and Robin Williams, uh, done a Popeye's. Movie. Oh, Nick B. It's amazing. The Popeye's movie is so great. So great. You totally have to watch that movie. It is a blast. It is so, so good. Uh, if you've never seen it, do yourself a favor. Where's Popeye? Yeah, um, well, I can't find it right now. I can, and probably in my comedies. But um, anyways, no, Popeye, it's a great movie. You got to check it out. Uh, let's see. 49ers versus Bengals was the first Super Bowl I ever saw. It would be a 1982 rematch. And it wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't bother me at all. Uh, I, you know. I would kind of like to see the Bengals get their first Super Bowl. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, Happy Shelley Duvall returning motion picture in the new independent horror movie this year. Yeah, and and that movie, it's kind of cool because um, uh, Alex Leba got to go be on set and interview. Um, oh, gosh darn it. What's his name? Uh, but from what I understand, Shelley Duvall, her part that she did for the movie, I don't know that she really went to set. I think it was kind of like uh, filmed near her and stuff. So she didn't go to New York to do it. 
but I, I don't know. But um, but it will be very cool to see her in a movie again. Oh, no, wait, no, she did. She had to be in New, New York because uh, I saw pictures with her there. So I'm not sure how that went, how that all happened. Uh, but um, but anyways, no, I am thrilled. I mean, I'm very excited to see Shelley Duvall in a movie again. And just hearing Grim Life talking to her, like her, her hearing her voice was like, man, uh, just man, that is Wendy Torrance right there. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's so great. Uh, check out Gray Woods plot on YouTube, independent film. Enjoyed it. Nice on YouTube. That's cool. So it's, yeah, like, uh, very easy to check out Tiki. I gotta, let me grab out my little handy dandy, uh, pencil right here and, uh, write that down. Where's, oh, here we go. I got my YouTube notebook here so I can write down movies to check out. And this is Gray Woods plot. Right on. Okay. Note taken, Tiki. I will check it out. Uh, well, Mr. Bones, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Miss King of the Hill Show. Oh, you know what? Juno, that's so funny. And I was going to tell Fluff about this. I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, it was so funny. Uh, we were sitting there at a hotel in Amarillo. And, uh, or was it Amarillo? Yeah, I think, no. Uh, anyway, anyways, it was somewhere on the road. I was in a hotel with my daughter. And I was sitting there editing a video. Oh, no. So it had to have been Tucson. We were in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, I was editing a video. And my daughter was watching King of the Hill. And it was the episode where uh, Peggy uh, was, like, you know, embarrassed about her size 16 feet. And she was, like, seeing the guy, like, the guy who was, like, you know, making, like, uh, foot fetish videos or whatever. And she thought her feet were really attractive or whatever. And then she found out, you know, the guy's, like, you know, you know, came clean. It was like, Oh, your feet are ugly. This is just for the weirdos that like, you know, weird, ugly feet videos and stuff. Funny, funny episode. But anyways, yeah, no King of the Hill, man. You, you want to talk about one of fluffy gamers favorites right there, man. Fluff, fluffy gamer, fluffy gamer does love the King of the Hill, uh, which my bloody Valentine, do you watch around Valentine's day and which is your favorite? Um, you know what? Antonis, I I've only seen one. And honestly, I don't know if it's, is it like a remake or not? Uh, like, let me show you. Hang on. Well, that's, that's the only one I've seen. I don't know. Is that really like part three or is that just like 3D? I don't know. That's, that's the My Bloody Valentine I've seen. So, um, but uh, when it comes to Valentine's Day, like, I'm like, eh. You know, it's not like Christmas or Halloween uh, where I have to watch a Valentine's Day movie every year. Uh, two years later, OGP charges twenty dollars for an autograph. I know. Nope. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be sitting at an autograph. I'm gonna be sitting at a convention in uh, the year 2024, 2025. I'm gonna be sitting there, and uh, I'm gonna be like, "Oh, you want an autograph? Twenty bucks. Oh, you want a picture with me? Another twenty bucks." No, I'm kidding. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I might have a booth someday kind of like um oh god what's the um i can't remember his name there's another youtuber who's pretty famous who's been having booths but you just walk up and take pictures of them he's not charging you and i, I forget to do his name right now I, I don't watch his videos or anything but he's he's a cool guy but you just walk up and take pictures with him or talk to him because he, he has a booth there he's not like charging you for it so that's that would be more my uh angle there uh, heard she's going to be in a movie with Edward Furlong and D Wallace. Yeah, Mr. Bones, that's right. It's so, uh, that's the one Alex Leba got to go be on the set and wet movie one should have been on that set, uh, hanging out with, uh, Edward Furlong and everything, but wet movie one has his job, but yeah, um, Alex Leba got to go be there and hang out with, uh, Eddie for a few days and do some interviews and stuff. So, um, yeah, and it's called something mountain Valley Hill mountain, something, I don't know, but, uh, but uh, from what I understand, it's going to be out later this year at some point. So we'll have to be looking for that. Uh, they still have the film set in Malta for the Popeye movie. I've been. Oh, you've been. Decent. Very nice. Yeah, I, I would love to go see that. And I've heard that set is still sitting there. It's kind of cool when you hear movie sets, you know, that, that were done a long, long time ago. Where the set is still sitting there abandoned and stuff. That would be cool to see. Uh, do you ever check out the old Art Bell Coast to Coast episodes on YouTube? Uh, all art bell on periscope is a youtube channel's name but i don't know if it's an official site okay uh no 
Uh, I have not watched those on YouTube and uh, Sepper, how you doing? Um, but I like, like the coast to coast. Uh, if I'm up at night or if I'm driving and I'm on here on the radio, I love listening to coast to coast. Uh, and whether it was, you know, replays of the older ones or back in the day, actually listening to Art Bell. Um, but uh, I, I've always enjoyed coast to coast. It's always uh, very thought provocative, entertaining stuff. Some of it I, is kind of hokey. Some of it's more like legit, plausible stuff, but uh, definitely enjoy it. Uh, Saw X, Maxine, and Cocaine Bear are other films I'm excited to see. Yes, no, and Maxine, um, and that's where Mia Goth is saying Maxine's going to be the best of the trilogy. You know, of course they're going to say that to promote it and everything, but uh, hey, maybe. But uh, to me, X is still hard to beat. X, like X is like so good. X is just so good. Uh, how can you tell if your husband is dead? The sex is the same but you don't get to use the remote. What? What? Wait, what? Wait a minute. I got, I have to dissect this joke way up, dude. I have to dissect this. How can you tell if your husband is dead? The sex is the same, but, oh, but you get to use the remote. Oh, 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 oh. okay. I don't know why I added in the word don't. So, uh, you get, you get to use the remote control for the TV. <laughs> oh man oh man cocaine bear does it looks amazing i think it's going to be a lot of fun i am very much looking forward to that uh do you like steelbook or not uh juno i do like steelbooks if there's I, i'm not going to go buy a steelbook just to to have it like you know if i if i own a movie um well, I don't know, like whatever, pick a movie. If I have it on Blu-ray, I'm not going to go buy a steelbook just to buy it. Uh, but it, I mean, there are some movies like the Goonies, pretty much any release of the Goonies, I'm going to go buy it. But there's very few movies like that where, I, where I'm going to actually go do that. I tell you what, you, you tell me what? You're a hey, kill oppression. Yeah, I tell you what. Dang old, dang old boom hour. I'm a boom hour. Dang old, I'm a boom hour. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Antonis. Yeah, I haven't seen. Um, I, I don't know enough about the My Bloody uh, Valentine franchise uh, to to get into it. I, I need maybe I need to watch and check more out uh, to be able to speak on that uh, better. What's the difference between a hooker and a drug dealer? A hooker can wash her crack and resell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, kill the camera! But, but, but here's the thing. I don't think they always do. I mean, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But <laughs> dude, maybe maybe sometimes they just uh maybe they just recycle that crack without even washing it. But that's pretty damn funny, Killer Giver. That's great. Uh, I like it. Original Bloody Valentine film from 80s, your favorite. Uh that 3D movie, OGP is remake. Okay, gotcha. Is uh a fluffy uh, still a gamer? Uh Fluffy, I think I don't know when the last time Fluffy probably broke out his video games. But he, I know he's still got a million of them. Uh, anyone seen The Package on Netflix? Um, I don't think I have. I, uh, the, the Package. It sounds familiar. Let's see. As long as it's under 12 hours, a severed member can still be reattached. No, I have not seen the package, but that looks pretty good. Wicked Network, did you enjoy it? Have you seen it? Uh, I saw that video you did at the dollar store, and you bought all those Blu-rays. That was a lot of Blu-rays. Yeah, no. Uh, you know what? Um, and 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 Robert, being that you're in Texas, you ought to check. And I know Amarillo is a long way from uh, the Dallas area, but you ought to check your big lots and see if they have uh, some of those clearance movies there. Big lots, man, seventy-five cent Blu-rays. Uh, I'll take you out for some Jack in the Box tacos, <laughs> man. Hey, Jack in the Box tacos, man. Jack in the Box when you're drunk, Jack in the Box tacos. Uh, that's that's some good eating right there. If I only had Fluffy says, if I only had one show I could watch for the rest of your life, it would be King of the Hill. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know, I knew that was Fluffy's. Yep. Uh, if you make it big. 
have a menu at your booth. Five dollar cover to stand in line. Uh, Ten bucks to talk to me. Fifteen for an autograph. Twenty for a picture. There you go. There you go. Separate that. Separate. Hey, that's the way it's got to be. Rules are set. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, that's right. The forest hills. Yeah. Thanks, Mister Bone. Yeah, I knew it was like something about hills or valleys or mountains or something. Yeah. Boom hour. That boom hour. <laughs> yeah, boom hour was always my favorite character in that show. Uh, your favorite King of the Hill episode is where Hank, Bobby, and the guys go to a Super Bowl game and try and sneak away uh, afterwards and make it uh, make you laugh when Hank gets pissed at a guy in a parking lot. Nice, nice, very cool. Uh, Infinity Pool is another one. Looks crazy. Okay, I haven't seen that either. Uh, you like Pearl better? Bubba felt like Pearl better. Interesting. Uh, and so, and I've heard a couple people say that they like Pearl better than X. Um, but to me, X is one of the best. It, it is so, when you look at a horror movie and the things you want out of it, um, you, you want, sometimes you want nostalgia. You want a variety of types of kills. You want a solid, um, You want you want good effects, you want a solid story. You know, there's just there's so many different things that you that you look for. Um, you, you know, you want characters to root for, you want characters to root against, and you get all of that. And so I just it was just so perfect. And um I, I don't know, I just to me, X was just so amazing. Um, but I'll tell you what, I, I have not bought Pearl or X yet. I'm waiting, and, and I hope that they do a 4K box set with that trilogy, and I would like to buy that at the at the time that comes out. I'm really hoping that happens. Uh, so I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting to uh, purchase any of those movies yet. Uh, so I need to write down. Infinity Pool and... Uh, Book, 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 book. Kevin Hampton also mentioned a minute ago. Uh, oh no, Wicked Network said the package. <clears throat> the package. Yep. Making my notes. I'm making my notes. Uh, let's see. Uh, when even listening to an old episode of Coast to Coast, now I even appreciate and laugh at the fake made up stories people called. Uh, in on the live line. Yeah, it is. You know, there uh, there are some stories that you're like, come on. And uh, there are some other ones that are kind of like interesting and stuff. But uh, but it's it's always fun to listen to, in my in my opinion. Uh, Renfield looked insanely funny and happy Nicolas Cage coming back into big motion picture films. 100%. Yep, I, I'm with you. Uh, I saw an episode with you and Cinestalker checking out Haunted Places uh, with that swing moving by itself. That was trippy. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was Vegas. So, Cinestalker and I in Vegas, and uh, we had a blast. That was absolutely amazing trip. I think I did, like, three or four videos out of that trip in different uh, locations and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that that park, uh, we, so we had done some research, and there was um, a few different places that were like, oh, like, you find a website, and it's, like, top 10 haunted places in Vegas. And there was a few that we were, like, uh, we'd already either been to or, like, eh, we don't need to check that out. But then, you know, we saw like a couple were like, okay, this might be kind of cool to go to a video there. And and that was definitely one of them. So yeah, it was, it was such a fun episode. And uh, yeah, the, that, that park was definitely a trip. And especially like tweaker lady, like kind of like walking around. I, I don't know if she was like really a tweaker, but maybe she was just out getting exercise or whatever, walking around a park. But it was like, it was pretty late at night. She was the only one out there aside from us. Kind of dangerous for like a, a single you know, and I don't know if she was single or married. I don't mean like that, but by herself, a lady walking around a park like that at night was like kind of like sketchy. Uh, did you see Avatar 2? No, and I don't really care to. Uh, it's just not on my radar right now. I've heard some people say that it was great, and it looks like there's going to be three more of them, but um, it's just not doing anything for me. Uh, do you think the bear and the cocaine bear is real or CGI looks real to you? Uh, and Tonus, if it's on a movie set, 100%, it's not real. It's not going to be a real bear on a movie set. Uh, Hank Hill and Tom Anderson have the same voice from Mike Judge. Uh, uh, Tom Anderson, Tom Anderson, is that the, is that the, the uh, neighbor of Beavis and Butthead? 
Is that is that the one where the kids are uh, wh- whacking in his shed? I haven't watched it yet, but it looks funny. Saw a YouTube short of it. Uh, okay. Oh, and so and you're talking about um, Wicked Network, the package. Is that what you're uh, uh, talking about? The package movie. Uh, what is you and your wife's favorite romantic uh, comedy film? And uh, like in romantic comedy. <laughs> So here's the thing. I don't watch a lot of rom-coms. Um, but, and, and I don't even know if it's a comedy at all. But like one of my wife's favorite movies of all time, and if it's on, I'll watch it with her, uh, is Sleepless in Seattle. She just absolutely loves that movie. Uh, Meg Ryan, Tom Hanks, and, and I have an autograph of Tom Hanks on a Sleepless in Seattle uh, picture. Uh, because of that um but as far as like rom-coms and stuff i i don't i i don't have the patience to sit through them so yeah i'm I'm, that would be probably the only one i could say uh romance film and rom-com type oh romance film yeah romance film i don't do them i don't do them i don't know sean 420 if you're out have a good night buddy thanks for uh, hanging out with us uh more i like pearl more just because it was stylish and more crazier than x uh in your opinion uh but that's cool you like x more right on uh let's see yeah um yeah a monkey i i i'll yeah all i can say is like sleepless in seattle i don't watch a lot of like rom-coms and like not at all uh antonis cocaine bear looks very cgi uh, like the Prey Bear. The Prey Bear was horrible, right? Oh, my. Prey Bear might as well have been Yogi Bear out there. It was horrible. Uh, how would you rate uh, season one of Stranger Things uh, out of one to ten stars? Season one of Stranger Things on a one to ten. It Just as far as me liking it and not putting it up against anything else, I'd give it an eight. But I mean, if I was putting it up against some of my favorite shows of all time, it would not be in my top 10. It w- would not be in my top 10 favorite shows of all time. But it was good. It was very good. I enjoyed it. Um, and then I even liked the first few episodes of season two. Uh, but then season two, it just kind of started feeling like a little bit rehashed kind of stuff. Uh, but it was still pretty good. Season two, I enjoyed also. Uh, I haven't seen anything beyond that because I just don't feel like I need to. There's there's nothing pulling me into it. Um, but the first season was great, and I really enjoyed it. And it was like after that, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to season two to see what they were going to do. And they did more of the same as season one. And I was like, ah, we could have got a little different. But um, I love the vibe that you know the '80s kind of stuff going on and all that. I really enjoyed uh, the first season of Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I would give it an eight out of ten. It, it, it's just standalone rating. Uh, let's see here. I like Mia Goth as a young Pearl character in Pearl more than her drug porn character in X, because uh, Pearl was more crazy and scary. Okay, and you know, but you know, but thing is, you know, Mia Goth. You know, she played the old lady too. She wasn't just, uh, you know, the younger girl. So, you know, she she's yeah, doing a lot of roles in those movies. But, um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm very much looking forward to seeing, um, you know, Maxine and, and seeing what that's all about. Uh, what's the difference between a Catholic priest and a zit? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. A zit will wait until you're 12. If- <laughs> <sighs> ah, kill a care bear. Oh man. I, I don't even want to finish reading the rest of that. <laughs> That's hysterical. Good night, kill a care bear. Uh, thanks for hanging out. It was a blast. Uh, hopefully you can hang out Monday. We're gonna do uh doing it up big time with the giveaways. Uh ghost in the computer. Is there I do I got a ghost? Are you hearing? Is there noises? Am I is there something going on? Uh uh rest in peace, Eddie. Who are we talking about? Eddie. Who uh which which Eddie Eddie Van Halen Eddie Money? Uh, 
or was it Eddie Fur? You know who? Who, what, who's rest in peace, Eddie Monkey? Uh, Preminator, what's up? Hey, I, I'm doing well. Thank you very much. And I apologize. We're at two hours in, and uh, we kicked off this video with the giveaway uh, because I was testing out something new. For those, for anybody who came in a little bit late, we were trying a different uh, style of uh, giveaway, and uh, that didn't work out. So we wound up going to the Wheel of Doom, and uh, and Chester 22 won uh, three Blu-rays here. But uh, then after that, we just been hanging out, talking movies, and and uh, just chilling out for the evening. So um, here we are. But Preminator, glad you could drop in and hang out with us. Uh, Tom Anderson is from Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, that's okay. That's right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he's the one uh, dealing with the kids uh, whacking in his shed. Uh, Abyss is coming to 4K this year. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, Wicked Network, I've not seen Prey. Oh, uh, yeah. And Tonus, I didn't care for Prey. I really didn't. The first hour of the movie, you don't even really get the Predator. So uh, your Vegas episodes are always fun, but your ghost haunted vids are your faves. Oh, nice. Very cool. Uh, yeah, and I want to do more of those. And in fact, I still have like some of the, the uh, ghost hunting vid from uh, with Master Chaos when we went to that Masonic Lodge. And I haven't released that yet. I still got to get to that. Uh, but... Um, yeah, man, speaking of Vegas, wait till it's about nine and a half hours from now. It's coming out, my uh, new, the second half of the Vegas video. And woo, it is nuts. <laughs> I was like in tears laughing as I was editing that video. That'll be coming out this morning. About nine and a half hours from now, the new Vegas video will be up. So uh, check that out. You got mail. And you got mail was fun. So, and my wife and I, the first time we ever went to New York, we went to the, um, was it the shop around the corner or whatever, the, the little bookstore where it was Meg Ryan's bookstore. Uh, we went there on like a tour. It was like a bus tour where you went to see like famous sites and stuff. And we got to go in and walk around that little store. It was pretty cool. Uh, after seeing the movie, you definitely uh, it was like, wow, it was very cool to be in that store. Uh, but um, yeah, I think, and my wife loves that movie too. She really loves that movie. Uh, anytime you get, you know, you had uh, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, uh, you know, together, that that was, uh, they, they had that very good chemistry. Uh, does anyone remember the movie Evolver? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it, Evolver. That doesn't sound familiar. Uh, did you see Scream 6 trailer? What did you think? I enjoyed it. So, Preminator, yes. We talked about it a little bit ago, but I, I don't mind getting into it again for sure. The new Scream trailer, it looks good. And... I was like really digging it all the way up until the point where the um, the the you hear the voice of the older sister and she says, like, I'm the one you want, like something like I'm the one you want. Let's do this. Like she's turning into a badass. So this is my prediction for the movie. The first and second act of the movie are going to be good. Then the third act. The older sister is going to turn into this badass. She's going to kill the ghost face killer. We're going to find out who the killer is. But when she turns into a badass, it's going to be stupid. It's really going to be stupid because it's going to be like the Hulk Hogan moment where she's down and she's hurt. And then all of a sudden, well, she's probably not going to rip her shirt off. I, I think it'll probably get more ratings if she did, but. She's going to have that Hulk Hogan moment where she comes back and is like, oh, yeah, brother. And she's going to kill Ghostface and it's going to be stupid. And not only that, but I think they're going to kill Courtney Cox character. And I don't like that. So the trailer looks great. I think it's going to be an exciting movie, but it's going to be it's going to complete the passing of the torch. The old cast is going to be completely out. Scream 7 is going to be all new cast. And I'm not going to give two shits about it. So, but it looks good. The, the trailer looks good. I just, once I heard her say, I'm the one you want. Let's finish this. It's like, oh no, it was going so good. And then you like went left turn to crap, you know, crap town. Uh, what's your favorite? Oh, oh, uh, no favorites there. And any feet involved. Not a big, uh, not a big, not a big foot guy. Not a big foot guy. 
uh what your favorite friday the 13th film yours is jason take manhattan so my my favorite friday the 13th is just the original just the the og um <clears throat> but if i was ranking them i would probably go one one like right now i would say one four six two three one four six two three and if i was ranking them like like the top and then one four six two three then maybe jason takes manhattan and then probably part five uh not a big fan of part five don't like the copycat killer thing uh let's see here uh a yogi bear horror movie you don't want to see what's in his picnic basket i know right it, it, it <laughs> you imagine imagine kevin hampton so you have a yogi bear horror movie and you have brad pitt going what's in the basket what's in the basket <laughs> what's in yogi bear's picnic basket <laughs> that would be hilarious uh mr bone season four has a freddy krueger type of character and also england playing uh the baddie's father Okay, so season four is is it? I, I just it, it like is it worth watching? Do you, I mean, like, I just uh, it lost me after season two, and, and I wouldn't say that I was like mad at it or disappointed, but it, it, seeing the previews for season three, I was like, it did nothing for me. I was like, do I need to go watch this? So that's that's where I'm at with it. But um, uh, do y'all have churches chickens in California? Yes, and in fact, uh. The late great San Diego Padre Tony Gwynn owned a whole bunch of churches chickens in Southern California. I believe after he passed away, the family sold them, sold that franchise. Uh, but there are churches chickens, yes. And it's funny because I just I saw a churches chicken in uh, Texas, and I was like, oh, I didn't realize they had those out here. But yep, they got them out here too. Uh, Deep Rising, the Relic. Komodo are very underrated monster movies from the 90s. Nice. I personally am not a big monster movie fan. Uh, but oh, Eddie from season four of Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, like, okay, I heard that. I I heard that, but you know, and I heard people are getting all emotional or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. You know, but I I don't know. I don't know. Eddie, uh, yeah, Ojipu would like Eddie. Oh, is Eddie uh is Eddie the one that's uh like uh how to like politically politically correctly say Eddie's playing for the you know the other team Eddie's uh you know into sword fighting is that is that is that the one I've heard about uh good morning for Portugal what's up how you doing in Portugal what up very cool I, I've I've had comments from people from Norway, from like uh, Ireland, from England, from New Zealand, from Australia, like all over the place, but never seen a comment from Portugal. Very cool. Oina Oinotna. How do you, I'm not sure how you say O in Oin Oinot Oinotna? I hope, gosh, I hope I'm saying that right. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know how you say the, your name there, uh, but you know, I used to, I used to have a boss who was Portuguese, and uh, his, I don't know how they were related, but it was his, like his somebody who was related to him was like his boss. So it was like my two bosses, they were both Portuguese, and uh, like hearing them like speak Portuguese was very interesting to me because I always thought Portuguese was like, you know, like Spanish, but it's different. Uh, and I think like in Brazil, they speak Portuguese as well. And, and, it, and it sounds Latin, but it's not like Spanish. So it's very interesting. Uh, but my Portuguese boss had his wife was Mexican. So he was like, you know, had to, he, you know, had to learn to speak Spanish, Portuguese and English. Uh, but uh, man, I, one of these days, I would love to go to Portugal, love to go over there. Uh, stop watching Stranger Things after a couple episodes of third season. Uh, season seemed just like you said. Okay. Yeah, I just felt like I didn't need any more of it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, last Scream was very insulting to kill Dewey in stupid way and give 
yeah, uh, I didn't like Scream 5 was bad. It was just bad. I didn't care for it at all. Scream 6 does look better. Uh, Scream 5, yeah, did nothing for me. Uh, yeah, I can see your points. Uh, let's hope it doesn't play out like that with the lead girl. I hope so. I hope not, but I really feel like she's just going to have this Hulk Hogan moment turn into a badass, and uh, you know and that's what's going to happen, and it's it's going to drive me nuts. Uh, what's your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie? Um, and to be completely honest, Antonis, that is not one of my favorite franchises. I, I don't dislike it. Um, but I would say out, out, out of those, just the first one, and, and that's really like it. After that, like I, I really the the movies they they are what they are. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say the first one for sure. Uh, Juno two thousand, very interesting choice as for a favorite Friday movie. I don't hate Jason Takes Manhattan, but like most people, yeah, <clears throat> Mo, uh, Jason Takes Manhattan is not typically one that is uh, people's favorite. Uh, yes, season four is worth watching. Okay, right on. Uh, what's your favorite Scream film? Mine is first, then third, and five. Uh, for me, first. And then after that, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, first. And then to me, after the first one, two, three, four are like kind of forgettable to me. And five is bad. So I would say the first one. Uh, Last Scream films were very insulting to kill off. To. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, no, Mike is the flat. Uh, oh, um, Mike is. Okay. All right. Yeah. I want to be, I'm going to try to be sensitive and not insult anybody or anything. So, but uh, okay. Yeah. No. Um, uh yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, the, the characters and stuff as as the boys got older and everything. Yeah, I don't know much about them. Uh, what do you think of the movie Deadly Friend, nineteen eighty six? Uh, do I? That sounds familiar. Uh, Deadly. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't own it. Yeah, Deadly Friend, Wicked Network. I'd I'd have to check that out. Mm -mm -mm. Deadly Friend, 1986 American science fiction horror film. Oh, by Wes. Cra oh, it's a Wes Craven movie. Shame on me for not knowing that. Um, yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Not gonna lie, I don't think I've seen it. Wicked. Uh, Eddie's a mental head. Uh, oh, Eddie's a metal head and has a big heroic moment where he leads the monsters from the kids by rocking out with his. Uh, bc rich warlock guitar playing metallica nice that's cool yeah uh yeah I, yeah I would definitely i tell you what i would like that that would be a cool scene i would that that would be awesome so yeah i'll probably have to go check it out at uh, metalheads love me some metal so uh that yeah definitely right up my alley um uh, okay so yeah not uh, but, but, but jumping ahead here a little bit um Sean, hey, have a great day yourself, Sean. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, let's see. Yeah, dumb haircut and character development. Uh, they uh by making him act like he wants to bang Mike. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They ruined him. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, your favorite nightmare on Elm Street is part two, Freddy's Revenge. That one always scared you, and Freddy looked terrifying. Right on. Uh, top three favorite horror franchises and go. Um Favorite horror franchise? Well, uh, Saw is one of my favorite horror franchises. And uh, then probably Friday the 13th. I mean, and it's going to be generic. It's going to be like Friday the 13th, Saw, and Halloween. I'm trying to think of other horror franchises. Oh, no. Okay, so how about I would say Saw? Pumpkin head and gosh, would I say Friday the 13th or or Halloween? I would probably say Halloween over Friday the 13th. 
I, there's more Friday the 13th movies than I like of Halloween movies, but the Halloween movies that I like, I like more than I like the Friday the 13th movies. So yeah, I would say Saw, Pumpkinhead, Halloween would be the three franchises. Uh, there's only one Scream uh, movie in your world, too, if you count the Wayne Brothers. Scary movie. Hey, man, scary movie. Hysterical. Hysterical. That first one, oh, man. What that? What that? What that? That was hilarious. Yeah, love love the first scary movie. You're whiffleding. I see you're whiffleding. You're whiffleding. <laughs> you're lilac. <laughs> Uh, Scream 1 and 3 are the movies I like, and 3 is underrated. Uh, that makes it better. Oh, that is miles better than 5. Okay, right on. Yeah, yeah, 5. Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh, let's collect video games. Always nice watching an OGP live stream during work. Decent. Greetings from Amsterdam. Very cool. Man, so uh, Amsterdam and Portugal. Now, you know it's late when Europe is watching. <laughs> it's very late when, when Europe is watching. Uh, Chucky and Nightmare on Elm Street and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. So, okay, nice. Yeah, oh, oh, you know, and that's a good one too. I did not consider, but so for me, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one and two are really the only two movies in that franchise I like. The rest of the franchise can just go away. I mean, there, there's a couple other you know watchable movies, but but Texas Chainsaw Massacre one and two, and then really after that, I don't care about the rest of the franchise. So I don't know that it could be one of my favorite franchises, but as far as horror movies, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre might be, uh, it, it's pro it's definitely in my top 10 favorite horror movies of all time, but it might be one of the most perfect horror movies as far as, it, you know, grading it on uh, originality at the time. Uh, the intensity, the story, uh, the, um, uh, like nail biting moments, everything that you want from a really intense horror movie you got in the first Texas Chainsaw. And that was, so when you got Texas Chainsaw 2, it was different and a little goofy and stuff, but it was still nuts. So, uh, those two movies are phenomenal, but I don't think that is enough to make a franchise to make my top three list but um but uh yeah texas chainsaw is a very very good one uh friday the 13th child's play and a nightmare on Elm street are your favorite franchises nice very cool yeah friday the 13th i'm with you and uh child's play it's not uh one of my favorites but i understand it and uh there's you know child's play a very great franchise yeah rest in peace david crosby yeah, Crosby, Still Nash, and Crosby, Still Nash, and Young. Um, you know, I think he was 81 years old, if I remember right. So at least he had a nice full life, you know. Uh, head now. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for a hangout. Well, thank you, Kevin Hampton. Go get yourself some rest. I know it's very late at night, uh, but thanks for hanging out with us. It's a blast. See you Monday. Uh, Scream 5 is actually in your top three of the Scream franchise, uh, but I respect your opinion. Okay, nice. No, and that's a cool thing. See, that's what I love. We all, yes, no, we all have different tastes in movies. And that's, I love hearing other people's opinions. And that way, you know, maybe you could sway me to get me to go either rewatch something or watch something I haven't seen for a while. And that was like, somebody recently asked me my thoughts on paranormal activity. And so I was like, well, you know, I haven't really seen those movies. Like I thought I'd seen the first one, but apparently I never had. And uh, paranormal activity, the first one was great. The second one, pretty good. The third one, pretty good. After that, that franchise just falls apart. But those first three Paranormal Activity movies are absolutely great. Great, great watches. Kieran Carlin, what's up? Good morning from Ireland. Who you got in UFC this weekend? Ooh, that's a good question. We haven't even talked about that because I have been uh, just getting back in town from my trip, very uh, wrapped up in a lot of things uh going on but uh yeah i think we do need it we should take a look at that we should take a look at that so we got Tashera versus jamal hill oof yeah that's a man that's a good fight that's a good fight and figueredo versus moreno i got figueredo there figueredo's gonna win he'll keep the belt 
And uh, man, Teixeira is a beast, but so is Jamal Hill. I'll pick Jamal Hill and then Figueredo. And uh, let's see. Oh, Jessica Andrade versus Lauren Murphy. I think, uh, ah, man. Ooh, that's a tough one. They, these are some good fights. These are very evenly matched fights. So, but here, here we go. I'll pick them all so we can review them on Monday. I've already got my notes started for Monday. So um, I'm going to put here UFC recap. So I'm I'm picking uh, Hill. I'm going to pick Hill. And then I'm going to pick Figueredo. Uh, whew, and, and I'm going to pick Gilbert Burns and Lauren Murphy, man, Lauren Murphy and Jessica Andrade, man. I'm, I'm going to pick Andrade on that one. I'm going to pick Andrade. And then, uh, Paul Craig versus Johnny Walker. Yeah. I, Johnny Walker, I think, is the underdog, but but I'm going to go with Johnny Walker on that one. So Hill, Figueredo, Burns, Andrade, and Walker. That's my picks. I got them written down. They're right there. We'll talk about them on Monday. But, um, yeah, this is it's a great card. It's a great card. Um, that Teixeira Hill and Figueredo Moreno fights are going to be phenomenal. But hopefully, you know, there's been a lot lately of UFC where the, where the main event has been kind of a flop. So hopefully uh, these live up to the hype this weekend. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. We all have different tastes in movies for sure. Antonis um, scream was originally called scary movie. And it even seen screen behind the scenes cameras saying scary movie. Oh, no way. I did not know that. I did not know that. That's cool. Saw's underrated franchise and always fun to watch. No saw is. And, and what I love is, you know, you watch the first saw, and then the second saw, and you're like, these are good. These are good. And then you watch the third saw, and you realize that all three of the, fir the first three movies are happening at the same time. Yeah, th that was it's amazing. The writing was great. Uh, I didn't care so much for, uh, you know, the Hoffman copycat movies as much as I did the original three. Uh, but uh, I get it. Uh-oh. Camera is unplugged. It did it to me again. Let me turn the camera off. This is nuts. Camera saying, "Hey, it's time to go to bed." I'm going to turn it back on. See if it see if we get it. What's going on, camera? Why is the camera unplugged? That's weird. You can hear me, right? I'm sure you can hear me. I see me, uh, see me making noise there. What's going on with the camera? Uh, let me go to my settings here. That's weird. Camera, come back, camera. Huh. Are we maybe we might we might be doing the rest of this uh <laughs> video as
So <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what's going on. It says my devices aren't connected. Both of both of my my camera and my microphone on my computer just took a crap on me. So that was weird. That's really weird. I don't know what happened there. Um, I do. Maybe I do have ghosts. But luckily, I was able to send a link to myself to log in on my phone so we could try and get <laughs> through through a few more of the comments here before we uh, wrap it up. But I guess this is like um, this is like <laughs> maybe a sign to to start winding it down. Uh, but anyways, I love the Saw franchise. I really do. Kiki Ghoul. Never seen any of the Final Destination films. Plan on watching those uh, this year. So, and and that's, I just, re you know, I recently bought the Final Destination franchise and the Paranormal Activity franchise out at Zia Records in Vegas. And um, the the Final Destination movies, the first one, I really like. And, and a lot of people love all of those movies. Uh, but, but um after the first one, I kind of lost interest and, and never went back to watch them. And then a while back, and you know, a couple of weeks ago, I, I was like going to check out uh, the rest of the franchise. And then somebody mentioned to me that uh, like part five was amazing and kind of like the way it ended was like really cool. I, I won't get into spoilers on it. Uh, so I was like, well, I'm going to just skip ahead and watch part five. And it didn't do much for me based on what I had expected. Uh, it was just basically more the same of like the first one. Uh, so, uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoy them Tiki. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to hearing your thoughts on them. And, and I still need to watch two, three, and four. Um, but I, I just, I have not seen those uh, ever. I just haven't seen them, but, but the first one I really enjoyed when it first came out, I just watched the original Candyman last night. I can't get into that movie in your opinion. It's pretty boring. And, just not scary at all. What do you think? Yeah, the, the original Candyman was okay. It's better than the new one, I think. Um, but it's not the greatest horror movie of all time. It's just, it's okay. Uh, I don't hate it, but it, it's not like, uh, you know, something I need to, need to, need to watch. So, man, and me losing the camera there for a couple minutes, everybody's like, ah, oh, peace out. We're gone. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Cloverfield, uh, as above, so below, Afflicted, VHS2 are very chilling. Found footage. Um, yeah, and you know what? Uh, Cloverfield, I really like. As above, so below. Um, and I've never seen the other two. Texas Chainsaw movie, I believe, was a B-rated movie when it came out. It was the second movie after the main movie we saw, Local Drive-In Theater. Can't remember the first movie. Uh, I don't think you saw the original Texas Chainsaw fluff when it came out, because I think the original Texas Chainsaw came out in 1974. So I, I don't think you saw that originally in the theater. Maybe you saw, like, um, a remake or uh, like a sequel or something, but yeah, the original was like 1974, 73. Uh, JJ Abrams did a great job with Cloverfield marketing it, uh, marketing make it look uh, real news reports. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. I liked it. Yep, I liked it. Yeah, <laughs> rest in peace, camera. It's done that to me before. I don't know what it is, uh, but that, my my camera did that on another video where it just like after after like an hour it's like nope peace out uh we're taking a snack break <laughs> that's it yep here i am I, I got my um i got these my i got my beaver nuggets from uh from bucky's out on the road trip there and uh, these are phenomenal these are like super addictive uh really enjoyed those um uh, but um nope no snack breaks <laughs> oh man and so now i don't even know if uh I don't even know if anybody's still here. <laughs> oh, man. But I'll tell you what. We, uh, uh, you know, got to get rested for the next day. Take care. Well, hey, everybody, I do. So it's, I mean, we're nine hours away now. The video's already uploaded. It's sitting there waiting to release at uh, 10 a.m. on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. My, it's the sequel, the second part to my Vegas adventure from earlier this month. So uh, be ready to check that out in a few hours. It's fun. I was just dying laughing as I uh, edited that video. So I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's a good one. Um, and if you haven't seen it, the video I did from uh, Amarillo, Texas, where I went to the Dollar Tree and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 
I don't know, it gets this little tickle in my throat. Uh, the Dollar Tree and Big Lots. Big Lots was amazing because of the 75 cent clearance Blu rays there. So if you haven't been to your local Big Lots lately, you got to go check it out. Uh, but that video came out yesterday, and then the new Vegas video coming out tomorrow. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have anything come up over the weekend or not, but we will have another uh, live Monday EMAG, hashtag EMAG. Every Monday is a giveaway. That will be happening Monday at the normal time. And um, we're going to be talking about some news because after this Monday, I think I'm going to be changing the start time on that to 4 o'clock. But we will still do the giveaway at 5 from four to five, we'll just be talking movies. So before we do the actual giveaway, we'll be talking movies for an hour. So we can do that because I want to stay true to the movie talk aspect of it. And we've been spending so much time on giveaways. So I think starting next week, not this week, this coming Monday, five o'clock and eight o'clock, same time as always. Um, so we will be doing that giveaway. And one thing that I did want to mention, and I will be mentioning on that video is that, um, when you all send in super chats for the uh, giveaways to add on to the gift card amount, you know, YouTube takes all like 40% of that money. And so it's not sustainable for the channel to like, if you donate $20, it's not sustainable for the channel to add that full $20 to the giveaway. So starting this week, um, and I hope you all understand, I, I'm going to be doing 50% of the uh, super chats. So if you do a super chat for 20, it'll add $10 to the giveaway amount. Just because I've been covering the difference of the super chats. You know, like, for example, Larry Cool the other day donated over $40 in super chats. Well, really only about $22, $23 of that was going to you know, the channel, the rest was staying with eBay or with YouTube. So the channel and I out of my pocket was picking up the slack on that. Uh, that's not something that's sustainable uh, as we grow. And when it's uh, kind of like smaller amounts, it's fine. But if we're doing $120 gift card giveaways regularly, that's going to, that won't be sustainable. So what I'm, what I'm doing is 50% of the super chats will be going uh, applied to the giveaway. And then um, if you do like the PayPal donations, 100% of that can go to the giveaway. So uh, so I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure we have uh, longevity and the channel is successful and, um, you know, that way we can um, keep it, uh, you know, keep the channel going and, and growing strong. And so um, that's I hope that I hope that makes sense. And I hope you understand that. Um, let's see, uh, Tiki, do I have a Venmo? Uh, yes, I do. I, I don't know what my email is on my Venmo, but maybe that's something I should put up as well in case people want to go through Venmo instead of PayPal. Um, but, um, yeah, no, and, and Robert, and that's a, that is why I absolutely love you, bro, because, uh, you know, what's up and yeah. And so every penny you, uh, donate to the channel, uh, it either, whether it's just for the channel uh, or it's for the giveaways. Uh, it always, every penny of that goes right in, um, you know, to, to support the channel. And, um, you know, and it's, it's, I understand YouTube has to make money. They have to stay in business. It's a shame to me, in my opinion, that they take that much of the, the super chats because they're making just buku bucks off the ad revenue. And if they want to only give us 50% or 40% or 30% of the ad revenue or even a 20. I think it's, I think it's somewhere around like 20%. I don't think we get that much, but whatever we get of the ad revenue, whatever it is, what it is. But when it comes to, you know, uh, super chats, they really should give us more than what they do. Uh, but it's, it's out of my hands. I can, you know, preach about it all I want. It's not going to change anything. Uh, so I just want to make sure that the channel is, uh, you know, growing and healthy. And so that's why we have to uh, do that. So I just, I will be talking about that on Monday as well. But, you know, I just thought I'd throw that out there right now since we're, you know, here and talking and stuff. But um, anyways, yeah. But no, Tiki, that's a great idea. Venmo, I should really um, figure out because I think Venmo you do like through email address. I got to figure out what my email address is uh, on my Venmo account. Um, and cause I've used it. Like I had to get a, 
I was like stuck in the snow a while back <laughs> in believe California. And I was stuck in the snow and I had to get a tow truck. And so I had to use Venmo to pay the tow truck driver, but crazy, crazy, crazy situation I was dealing with there. But, uh, I was in, stuck in the snow for like five hours. <laughs> so, so I was ready to go. And so the tow truck driver was like, well, you know, um, it, it was this is a long story that maybe another day we'll get into, but, uh, yeah. So, Definitely, uh, definitely do have a Venmo, but uh, I'll, I'll look into that and add it to my links there so we can get that up there. But uh, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. This has been an absolute blast. Uh, I really didn't expect to go this long, uh, but the reason I did and the reason I do is because hanging out with you all is so much fun. I really enjoy these uh, impromptu live streams and just hanging out, having a good time all night, talking movies, talking whatever we talk about even though it's one o'clock in the morning, like, you know, for, and, you know, Tiki and myself and Fluffy and a few others of you, it's one for Robert, it's three. <laughs> and, uh, for some of you, it's probably four. And, uh, the folks in, over in Europe, I think it's probably daylight. It's already daytime over there, but, um, anyways, yeah, it is, it is, uh, very late, but, uh, everybody, uh, and, uh, thank you, Antonis. You are the man. I, I appreciate you and, uh, what you, you know, you deferring your prize over to be in Chile was very kind. And, uh, that has already been put in the mail. It is on the way to, uh, be in Chile. So, uh, man, just, uh, I love hanging out with y'all just such a bunch of great friends and it's, it's just a great time. Great community we got going on here. And, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun on Monday night too. I've got, I got an empty bag, an empty mystery bag that I emptied out to send off. So I've got to reload that and I will do that. And, um, then, uh, I got to figure out what movie we're going to be giving away also this week too. So a lot of stuff to figure out between now and then, but I will see, uh, about all that. I'll get it all set up. And Monday is going to be a blast. We're going to have a lot of fun again, just like always. But until then, check out the video tomorrow from Vegas. You'll probably laugh a little bit. You will probably laugh a little bit, especially if you missed the live stream. I put in little clips from the live stream from Vegas when I was smashed, hammered drunk. So hopefully you enjoy that video. But everybody have a good night. Take care of yourselves. Be safe and healthy. And I will see you all Monday night.